hosts Pat Donovan and Aaron Jacobson. Good morning, goons. Welcome to the Pat and Aaron Show, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620, coming to you live on a Thursday morning. And it's a morning where uh, later today the Rays will be, well, I don't know, later today. They're off all day. The Rays are off today, but they come in after winning a second consecutive road series, this time in Anaheim against the Los Angeles Angels, 4-2 to two yesterday. Uh, another impressive victory for a team that, listen, the good news, obviously, an- again, another victory and another road series victory back-to-back. And then there's bad news again when it comes to the Tampa Bay Rays as Brandon Lau is heading to the IL. And I, it was just, you know, yesterday I woke up from a nap to a tweet from somebody just like death taxes Brandon Lau on the IL. And it really, it's just, it's frustrating and, and it sucks to be having this conversation right out of the gate on a day after they won their second straight consecutive series. But this is a guy that you and I both said could have a huge impact this year and, and is going to need to be healthy if, if he's going. To. It's unfortunate because it's something Rays fans have become so familiar with. Pitchers getting hurt and Brandon Lau getting hurt. <laughs> he just has been so injury prone, especially since 2021. He hasn't been able to stay healthy. So yeah. we have the flash in the pan, I guess, as you can call it. I don't even want to call it a flash in the pan because Brandon Lau is a great hitter. He is. He is a great is he hitter. A great hitter. Yes. I feel he's a pretty good hitter. All right, I'll give you that. He's a pretty good hitter. <laughs> I'm not going to argue that this early in the morning. He's a pretty good hitter. He he has obviously the the power is there for a guy his size to be able to hit almost 40 home runs in a season, which he's done. You can tell he's a professional hitter. Yeah, he can't stay healthy. So now and over the years he, in pressure situations, he just hasn't been able to deliver. Um, I think health has been a problem for him as far as his lack of production over the years but when he's on the field there should be no excuses you got to produce yeah and i don't know if i can give him that in the playoffs because it just feels like you know things are different when we get there and it's not about his health i agree this is a good opportunity now for curtis mead guys have opportunities now when one guy goes down this is your time to step up we've been hearing a lot about a lot of these guys curtis mead what are you going to do Jonathan Aranda. When I thought we he looked good at second base. Agreed. When we get Jonathan Aranda back shortly, an opportunity, a lefty bat, now your chance. You know, we talked a lot about it, Jonathan Aranda being a DH for this team when, when it's time for a righty-lefty matchup. Well, now we're going to look to him to, to play some second base as well. It's not ideal, but they're deep enough to be able to, if the guys step up to the moment, and that's what that's how you make your career sometimes. You yeah. step up in the moment when a guy goes down, and then by the time that comes, the guy comes back, the spot's yours. I just, I look at this lineup and I just think to myself, where are we going to get the power from? Obviously, Jose Siri brings a lot more power than we ever expected when we landed him. Like, I don't think we thought he'd have the year he had last year. And, and you know, we've already seen him go deep this year. But, uh, you know, Randy, Isak, Yandi. I mean, Yandi, he's, he's still more of a line drive hitter, right? Like, he'll hit you some home runs, but he's not he's not a masher. Randy is, is streaky. Like, I just, I, I wonder if consistently we're going to have enough power. I hope so. We've seen success from this team, and last year was not an example of it because they had power last year. Last couple of years they've had power. They've had success when they don't have the home run ball. You don't have to have the home run hitter to have success in this league. It would be great. You'd love to be able to clear the bases. Like the Yankees last night were in a situation, bases loaded with two outs in the ninth inning, where they had a chance to win the game with Aaron Judge at the plate if he hits a bomb. You would love in that situation when your team down three runs, right, with one opportunity with the bases loaded to feel confident that your guy could do it. Did Aaron Judge do it? No. But... I, I get what, what where that mindset would come in and say we need, it would be nice to have that availability in the yeah. lineup. They just don't have it, and you know what, Pat? They haven't had it at times. It's true, uh, and, and at times when they've gone very deep, right? So I don't think it's you know the only factor. And obviously, again, they've just won two straight series without a, a ton of power. But uh, it, you know, I, I'm always surprised. I, I don't know if surprise is the word because people always have you know these kind of takes, I guess. But I don't understand it when, like, on the Bartow 4 DA text line, time to let Brandon go. If he produces for someone else, good for him. For what? Like, what's the point? Like, you're not, he has zero value yes. on the trade market right now because of his injury history and the fact that he's shown us that he can't stay healthy. Nobody's going to give you a lot for this guy. When he is right, 
you can insert him and and add this power to your lineup and, and a guy that can be helpful when he's healthy. There's no re- – like, you don't just throw a guy away – for no reason, because it's frustrating that he has trouble, trouble staying healthy. If you could get value for him, yeah, great, trade the guy because he gets hurt all the time. But there's no value for him. You might as well just hang on to him, let other guys get their opportunity, and then if he's available, you stick him in there. At this point, like, yeah, after the season, whatever, but at this point, what's the point? Brandon Lau is kind of a catch-22 right now because – You can't trade him, like you mentioned, accurately. He doesn't have any value right now. Zero. So you hope that he comes back. And if you want to, in your mind, say, hey, let's get him healthy. Let's get a good couple weeks out of him where maybe he can play some good, successful ball. And then his trade value goes up and you trade him. But here's the catch-22. If he starts to turn it around, he gets healthy and, and is producing then you're like, well, we want that lefty bat in the lineup. Yeah. So it's a really, it's a tough situation with Brandon Lau. It's really a lose lose situation, and it has been for years with Brandon Lau. Yeah, no, you're 100 percent right. And I think right now, right, the point that you just made, right now, it's more evident than ever. Right, the fact that if he were ready, if he were healthy, it's just you need that bat so bad. You need that that left handed guy so bad. You'd be insane unless you could get a left-handed guy back for him, but you're just, you're not. You're not going to get great value for a guy that can't stay healthy. So if he's available, great, play him. If he's not, you got to put him on the shelf and hope somebody else not maybe can duplicate that power, but can give you something at the position. I think Curtis Mead eventually could. I mean, that guy hits the ball hard, man. He was, I I agree. And he was, Brandon Lau was dealing with an injury last week. We were worried about getting him back. He comes back, and now it, 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 it's pretty evident he's not going to be around for uh, for a while. As Kevin Cash has noted, he's going to miss some time. So, not a good uh, not not a good note for the Rays to lose this or this early on in the season. It's it's bad. But as you saw during this series, there are other guys on this team that are ready to make their mark, and Jose Caballero Who? is one of them. Jose. Caballero, I gotta get better. Another, uh, I gotta get better. Another game in which he reached base safely. It's eleven straight games to start the season uh, for him when he's played. He is uh, 11, 11 games straight games. He's reached base safely. Another hit yesterday. That ball was the long ball. And listen, we've heard some things about his defense, but everything we heard coming in, in, out of spring was that he was looking really good. Yep. And then we saw the plays yesterday that he made going both sides, rangy. I love what we've gotten from him. He's been a spark plug for this team so far, both sides uh, of on defense and on offense. Well, Kevin Cash spoke yesterday after the game about what he's been getting from him uh, on defense. Yeah, I mean, it felt like that this series for sure. I mean, with the bat, with the glove, on the bases. But to me, if I'm biased. The highlight was the defensive plays. And that play that he made diving up into the uh, middle, Yandy picking it up, that was gold glove plays on both ends. It's huge play. Huge moment, too. There's, You know, you're talking about saving a run with a play like that. So just uh, great defense from him. Great on offense right now. He's been, honestly, their leading producer on offense, batting 351. And like I said, reaching base, uh, base safely in 11 straight games. I wouldn't use the term huge moment um, at this point in the season for this guy, but my favorite part of the game yesterday, Aaron, and I suspect it might be your favorite part of the game too, one inning pitched, no hits, no runs, no earned runs, three strikeouts for Pete Fairbanks. I feel like he needed that right now. Yeah, he, he gave up the one hit. Um, he did give up the one hit. Did I say no hits? Yeah. Oh, he, I'm sorry. He, yeah, he, no he, runs. He did give up the one hit, but That's three, fine. three <laughs> strikeouts was great. Um, you know what I liked? You know what was the best part for me? First of all, you get up to an early lead. A little bit of uh, you get lucky because you get a wild pitch in which two guys score on one wild pitch. So a little bit it's of help. Fun. Yeah, before you blink, the Rays are up in that game. You give Zach Littell a little cushion. But Zach Littell walked th- uncharacteristically walked three batters in a row in the first inning. That is... I don't know if we'll ever see that again, knock on wood, from, from Zach Littell. But you got to like that he turned it around and didn't walk anybody else for the rest of the outing. Well, you know? forget that. The, just getting out of that by striking, he struck out every batter in that inning. So he to fight in that inning when you're behind the eight ball and you've walked three batters in a row to load the bases and to come back boom, boom, with two strikeouts back-to-back, very 
Great to see that from Zach Littell, who didn't have his greatest stuff. You know, was miss, just missing a little bit. But after that first inning, really settled down and looked good and was effective the rest of the way. And then for Kelly, Maton, Adam, and Fairbanks to come in the bullpen, do the job. That's what we're talking about. The trust in the bullpen to come in on the road in a game where the bats weren't great. You know, you look at that game and kind of at times you're like, because of that first inning, you know, where it just kind of unraveled for the Angels on one weird wild pitch and a couple hits, you're thinking, and there was some, you know, Yanni's Diaz, Yanni Diaz hit just barely makes it up the middle. It was weird that the Rays were done winning that game. Yeah. Um, you know, you give up nine hits on the day, but you just never really got into trouble after that first inning. You gave up a run, another run, or a couple runs in the game, but you never really got into a lot of trouble. San Francisco Giants come to town on Friday. Of course, the Rays off today. They will enjoy their first day off of the season. They got a couple, another one in a couple of weeks, but busy until then. But yeah, the San Francisco Giants come to town on Friday. We don't get to see the Giants in town very often, so that'll be a fun series and, of course, a, an emotional Sunday uh, as we, uh, the Rays, I should say, induct Dave Wills into the Rays Hall of Fame. Uh, hopefully you can make it out to that one. I'm pretty sure everybody here at WDAE is going to be out there because, uh, obviously, Rays Radio being right here on WDAE, we all had uh, a relationship with Dave Wills and just such a special human being. Obviously a great broadcaster, but really, you know, at the end of the day, not nearly as important as the fact that he was such an unbelievable human being. So uh, it'll be great for all of us uh, and hopefully a lot of you to be out there on Sunday to celebrate Dave Wills. Yeah, we will. Uh, we'll be all out there. And I'm looking at the matchups, pitching matchups, because you know who's going to be in town. Well, you, you if you're on the Rays website, it's to be determined for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, according to the Rays' website. For the Giants? No. No, no. You, 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 oh, he's not catching my drift. He's not catching my drift. People. Oh, you're talking about Blake's now? Yeah. That's Sunday. That's Sunday. That's Sunday. All right, for sure. It's confirmed. I mean, that's, that, that's what it says on the Rays' website. All right. But for the Rays' side of things, it says to be determined all three days, which I find yeah, very interesting. It says on ESPN, it says Snell Ethlin on Ooh, Sunday. Oh, I like that. Snethlin. <laughs> Snefflin. Led Snefflin. Led Snefflin. <laughs> I like good. it. I'm into it. That's a good band. Uh, great day today on the show. We've got our friend Matt Matera. It's been a while. Matt Matera, of course, from Pewter Report. He joins us at 730. We'll talk about the Buccaneers and the upcoming draft. Casey Hudson, of course, with us in the 8 o'clock hour. Also an opportunity. We'll be there on Sunday when it comes to the Rays. We'll also be there on Thursday next week. That is, uh, that's a week from today. That is Goon's Getaway Day. We'll have another four-pack of tickets for you to win today during the show as well. Uh, but on the other side, it's time for today's top headlines. Time for Casey Warner to catch us up on the biggest stories in sports. We'll see if he gets to the one about his White Sox, because that was interesting to me. We'll see if it's interesting to Casey. That's next on the Pat Aaron Show, 95.3 WDA and AM 620. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. Good morning. Overnight construction wrapping up in Hillsboro County on eastbound I-4 near Branch Forbes. A couple lanes were blocked there. They're picking up the cones and traffic getting back up to speed through that area. Southbound 275, it's slow south of Tropicana Field. A couple lanes still blocked between 28th Street and 22nd Avenue South. Also a crash in Largo on 66th Street just south of Almerton. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sp- Sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell is introducing the new Cantina Chicken Menu with the new Cantina Chicken Burrito, Quesadilla, Bowl, and Tacos. Featuring their new slow-roasted chicken. Try the new Cantina Chicken Menu today at a participating U.S. Taco Bell location while supplies last. Contact store for participation, which varies. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hey guys, T. Kraz here from my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader and the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. It's called regenerative medicine, guys. So if you're tired of those achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love doing, you got to call my guys over at QC Kinetics. I did. They fixed my elbow. They fixed my knee. They can do the same for you. 
No surgery, no steroids, no drugs. They are a thing of the past. Regenerative medicine is where it's at, and they can deliver lasting results. They can use your own body's biologics to restore and repair damaged joint tissue, and that's what QC Kinetics will do. So get your life back, guys. Call them. QC Kinetics. Get a free consultation. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you going again with no downtime. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics, located in Bradenton, Lakeland, St. Pete, and Brandon. Tell me your boy T-Crash sent you. On April 12th. This is falling inside the mouth. You get there for anyone else does. Experience the movie event of the year. Crash it! Critics are raving. Civil War will set your senses ablaze. We have to move! No! From May 24 and director Alex Garland. As soon as DC falls, they'll turn on each other. With a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. The president's busting out! No! No! See Civil War. Rated R. In theaters and IMAX April 12th. Get tickets now. What sets International Diamond Center apart from those big box jewelry chain stores? The problem with big chain stores is that they're all run by corporate. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. That means the people at the store level just plain don't care much. At IDC, you're not dealing with a bunch of retail clerks. You're working with a true jewelry professional who's not on commission and not beholden to a bunch of corporate dictated rules and policies. When you're in the big corporate world, everybody operates out of a manual or a big book of rules. At IDC, we don't have a manual telling our people how to deal with customers. We empower our people to take care of those customers in the way they would want to be taken care of. Get the respect, guidance, professionalism, and genuine care you deserve from people who put you first. We tell them point blank, do whatever it takes to make the customer happy, period. International Diamond Center, locally owned, internationally connected. We want them to take care of you, protect you, and make it the best experience that you could possibly have. In Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota, and always at shopidc.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Don't be impressed when you hear someone settle their case for what may seem like lots of money. $500,000 seems like lots of money until you learn they lost both legs, had a brain injury, or were paralyzed and can never work again. All law firms are not the same. To see what your case may be worth, go to ForThePeople.com and look at our verdicts and settlements for cases just like yours. Look before you leave. Hire the right lawyer. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. An iHeartRadio sports report. Presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Alt 2K, a commercial-free look back to alternative from the 2000s. Just search Alt 2K and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. This report is sponsored by True Green. True Green is the easiest and most affordable way to get a beautiful lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan, and by April 20th, you get one application free. Call or visit TrueGreen.com today. Restrictions apply. We're going to see some sun this morning, but the clouds going to roll in. We have about an 80% chance of showers today. It's going to be breezy at times as well. Our high right around 80. Overnight, partly cloudy. It's going to be cooler at 63. Tomorrow, nothing but sun and good news. Humidity, not really there. Our high right around 77. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Top Headlines. That's right. It's time for today's top headlines brought to you by Mark Spain Real Estate. Mr. Warner, tell us about today's top headlines. All right. Well, I guess I got to talk about the White Sox, even though I uh, don't like doing it. But uh, the Guardians beat the White Sox yesterday 7-6. to six, And extras and Bo and Josh Naylor delivered RBIs in the 10th with homering in the same inning. Pretty cool. I also just told you all at the break, the last two to do it, where a guy named B.J. Upton, Melvin Upton Jr. is what he changed it to, and Justin Upton. So, pretty cool. What's really wild to me is they're the sixth pair of brothers since 19... Sixth? Sixth pair of brothers since 1900 to each hit a home run in the same inning. It's happened six times where brothers have hit home runs in the same inning. And by the way... The That's na- crazy. Yeah, the Nailers... They were actually the last ones to do it. You're right. The last pair of brothers to do it were the Uptons. But the Nailers did the same thing last year, hitting a home run in the same inning. They're they're nailing it. 
And you've oh, seen, yeah. it's the fourth, uh, so it's the uh, sixth time that Pair Brothers have done it in the same inning. The fourth to do it multiple times, uh, joining the Uptons, and uh, Billy and Cal Ripken did it, too, multiple times. It's amazing. By the way, I bet they're the first pair of brothers to do it on International Siblings Day, which yesterday was, so that's that's something, I guess. Um, by the way, th- their home runs came in the fourth inning, and then in the tenth inning, they both it was, had RBIs. Yeah, Bo singled in uh, Freeman to end the game in, in extras. That's cool. Playing alongside your brother in your 20s. Oh, man. Love you, brother. Yeah, could you imagine playing alongside your brother in no. your 20s? I mean, no, I remember. No. <laughs> yeah. no. Not in your 20s. Maybe his kids, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on. An arrest warrant has been issued for Chiefs Rasheed Rice for the involvement in that multi-vehicle accident in Dallas. Rice now has 24 hours to turn himself into police. And it seemed like, you know, Patrick Mahomes had another budding star at receiver, and he may still. But what's your all's thoughts on this? Is he going to play this year? Is he going to um, show? I have, I have more questions. Questions than thoughts because I'm very confused, guys. If correct me if I'm wrong, didn't his attorney come out almost immediately and say that he is cooperating with the investigation? If you've yet to show up and talk to the police, and it's been this long since the incident, unless he's already spoken to them and they just hadn't issued the warrant, that's what I think. That's probably yeah, that's, what happened. The investigation was still unfolding. Yeah. I mean, how? How? Eight I feel charges. like there's enough there on the of, video. There are a lot of cars involved in this thing. He's got eight charges, six counts of collision involving bodily injury, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, oh, wow. and a count of aggravated assault. Now, now it will be interesting to see if he doesn't turn himself in. Then it would be very strange, but he, I'm assuming he will turn himself in. I'm surprised there's no there's no charges about like leaving the scene of an accident or anything like that. That's kind of crazy because obviously that's what he did. Mm. Uh, I'm sure there is, because they allegedly left the scene. Yeah, I'm sure there is a charge for that, too, or there will be. Legal troubles. That's the uh, topic, I guess, for uh, top headlines, because we got more news on Ipe Mizuhara. Shohei Otani's former interpreter is negotiating to plead guilty to theft and gambling and the gambling scandal. Ipe Mizuhara reportedly changed settings on Otani's bank account to hide the transactions, so it looks like he might turn himself in, too. All right, well, that makes a little more sense if he's hiding the trans. If there's a setting now, that this is where I, what I said when it was all unfolding is I don't know enough about this technology to know how you can hide this stuff. Mm. Now there's a setting apparently where you can hide. It's uh, why is there that setting? Incognito setting. <laughs> like, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Incognito. That's Financially right. hiding stuff sounds like a crime. Like what the hell? It it just it seems pretty weird. So yeah. So now either that or. He's really going the distance to help his buddy out, Shohei, and cover this thing up. Listen, I'm glad you said cover this thing up. It's been very quiet. Well, yeah, Major League Baseball and all the sports don't want this to be loud. For a story of this magnitude, yeah, but ESPN, they don't have to, you know, and by the way, they've, you know, historically kind of sometimes gone full in on this stuff where, like, it's almost too much, right? Like, it's very interesting. they They have ESPN bet now. (laughs) <laughs> they do point. They're like, we can't f this thing up. Yeah. So well, no, no. I'm, but Pat thought the same thing. I was like, I was thinking, very quiet. Very quiet. We're just like back on to like Shohei. What type of seasons he's gonna have? And it's all baseball with Shohei. Even though I just said that, is it weird if I'm okay with it? Yeah. Like I'm totally okay with it. Like because, sweep it under the rug. Go. I don't care. Because what. Um, Porter did in basketball, which he we've heard from Adam Silver. He might get banned from the league yeah. if things come out uh, against him. But you're talking about a guy who is directly impacting the game. That's a huge problem for most. Like that, I'm not okay with. For most of us fans, okay. Let's say Shohei was betting on other sports. Who cares? Mm. Who cares? Yeah. I agree. We all got to have something to bet on, right? Even if I agree. Even if it's table tennis. Ooh, I got to put my Masters bet in. That's right. Good reminder. I'm got shocked we've up. gotten this far without you... you asking for the music or talking about azaleas. We're going to get yeah, there. Where are my azaleas, corners. We're going to get there. I got the music. We're, we're in top headlines. Let's have the news music for now. All right, we got the music coming, <laughs> though. All right, we got to get into something serious real quick before we wrap this up, though. Former oh, no. NBA player Nate Robinson. This is so sad. Desperately oh, no. needs a kidney 
to survive. He's been dealing with kidney failure for about six years had, now. I had no idea. Me neither. Yeah. Yeah. He was out. doing all kinds of. He was, you know, he's playing in other leagues. Yeah. He was boxing. Like he was yeah, doing well, all kinds that, of stuff. He got in the. Uh, he boxed uh, one of the Paul brothers yeah. a couple years ago. I had no idea he's battling this. He's on dialysis yeah. three times a week, four hours each session. Was he? F- was he fighting this when he fought? I believe so. so six what years. What's wrong so, yeah, with you? Yeah. My only. Um, experience with dialysis was when Ted Webb was alive and going through dialysis. He had a lot of issues and it was so painful to watch because it drains a human being physically, mentally. I mean, to sit there multiple times a week to for four hours, getting your blood cycles, however they do it, and, and you have to do it or you will die. It's so crazy. And, and he said he's, but Ted was, you know, obviously older. Nate listening to his comments uh, or reading his comments, he is still playing basketball. Like he's still doing things, which I didn't know you could really do. I mean, it's when you're having that type of failure, it's really sad though. He needs this or he's probably going to die. That sucks. I really, like I, I did not hear about this and uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, there's only so long you can do dialysis. Yeah. You know? So yeah, thoughts out to Nate Robinson, former slam dunk champion, former Chicago Bull I used to watch. Former so, New York Knicks first right. round draft pick. Exactly. So yeah, quite the star he was in the NBA at one point. Thoughts out to him. That's all we got for top headlines. Back to y'all. That's today's top headlines presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. Get a guaranteed offer on your home today at MarkSpain.com. And then you can just start packing. When we return, Brandon Lau is hurt again, and this time he's going to be out a while. We'll talk about what the Rays need to do when it comes to Brandon Lau. That's coming up next on the Pat and Aaron Show, but first... First, the future for the Rays, a little bleak when it comes to Brandon Lau, but the future for you does not have to be. Make sure you're paying attention to your future, your retirement, your wealth management. That's what Trajan Wealth is going to help you with. Trajan Wealth. T-R-A-J-A-N Wealth.com. Wealth Management Retirement Planning. Trajan Wealth. They're here to help you reach your investment goals and they tailor the goals to your specific needs. They're going to work closely with you to make your path to retirement easy and comfortable. Are you going to have enough money when you retire? How long will that money last? Trajan Wealth. They will help you answer these questions and make you feel comfortable. They've got offices right here in Tampa so you can meet them face to face or have a virtual appointment if that's more comfortable for you. 813-550-1000. Consultations are complimentary so give them that call today. Ask those questions. They want to help you. 813-550-1000. TrajanWealth.com. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth LLC and SEC Registered Investment Advisor paid advertisement. All right, again, more on Brandon Lau and his injury coming up next on the Pat and Aaron Show on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Tomorrow, Tampa Bay Rays baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner, home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the San Francisco Giants. Coverage starts at 5.30 on the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeart Radio. Fabrice. Fabric Talk. Hey, it's me, your couch. Today's my favorite day of the week. Fabrice Fabric Spray Day. The occasional deep cleans are nice, but in between, you know I'm needing a refresh. Ooh, here she comes with the Fabrice Fabric Spray. Oh, yeah. Spritz them armrests. Don't be shy. Nothing like a good spray down to get me smelling so fresh and clean. Don't forget my back. Nice. Fabrice Fabric Spray. It's just that easy. Now we can both breathe happy Fabrice. La, 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 la. Tampa Golfers, Global Golf Outlet is now open with the largest selection of used clubs in Florida. You'll find thousands of used name brand clubs to choose from, all at one location. TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, Ping, Cleveland, and more, all at incredible prices. And at Global Golf Outlet, you'll also find hundreds of closeout deals on bags, shoes, and apparel. It's Florida's largest and only golf outlet where you can try, buy, and trade all in one place. Global Golf Outlet, located on Gun Highway in the Hampton Plaza. Hey, Grant's here for my friends over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar. As a homeowner, I know the importance of having a strong roof over your head, and that's exactly what my guys over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar do. They're the number one roofing solution in the Tampa Bay area, offering free inspections. They offer a wide selection, asphalt shingles, tile, metal roofing options as well. They do residential and commercial. They have over 300 five-star reviews, so check them out. Visit their website. Get an accurate assessment. Go to greentechroofing.com. 
Hey, I have a secret. Uh huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpits stink. Uh -huh. Can I use it where my bra rubs under my? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my. Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it, and now I get 72 hours of freshness from my pits to my. Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in sticks and creams too. Go get your secret whole body deodorant. I feel good. Da, 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 da. Dad, are you singing to your cereal? <laughs> yes, I am. Like I knew that I would. Na, na, na. No, a dance too? Come on, Ava. Silk almond milk. Starts the morning on a high note. Yow! <laughs> Songs, dances, and dad jokes. Oh, so good. So good. I got you. Mm. Silk almond milk. With calcium, vitamins A, D, and E. Feel plenty good. Rivard Buick GMC is the number two GMC dealer in the country, and they want to hold on to that number two. So they're going to keep doing what they've been doing to get there. Huge inventory, massive discounts, regardless of what time of the year it is. The middle, the end of the month, it doesn't matter. It's always a great deal. Unbeatable discounts. All you have to do is visit RevardBuickGMC.com. See for yourself. Try and find another dealer with discounts that insane on every vehicle. Rivard Buick GMC. GMC, we are professional grade. Climbing ladders to clean your gutters stinks. For only $1 per foot, let the gutter experts at the Rhino clean your clog gutters before they cause damage to your home. That's right, just a buck a foot. You enjoy your game day while they do the dirty work. Go to the Rhino.com and schedule your cleaning today. You pay your premiums, but the first time you try to file a claim with your homeowner's insurance, they won't pay. Don't give up. That's what they want. Instead, call for a free policy review. Fair and Farah, here for you, here for good. Tampa. Good Greek, moving and so rich. The superhero movers. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. The Rays close out their series at the Angels with a win. Jose Caballero with a home run. The Rays have won four of the last five. Hockey night, the Lightning, who have won three of four and have the top wild card spot in the East, are back in action. They host Ottawa. NFL News Chiefs receiver Rasheed Rice facing eight charges in connection with a hit and run crash last week. An arrest warrant has been issued for Rice. I'm Matt McCoy. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Pulse Nation for, for over 20 years, years and counting. counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. It's probably going to be a while before we see our friend Brandon Lau. It won't be long before you can win Rays tickets, a four-pack of Goons Getaway Day tickets for next Thursday, the 18th. Rays and Angels will be there. You'll be there if you win. That's coming up uh, in a little bit. But Brandon Lau, he's going to be out for a while. And, you know, obliques, we, we see him a lot in baseball. Obviously, swinging a bat is, is something that's not necessarily conducive to uh, that region of the body. And we do see those kind of injuries a lot. And they're not always easy to overcome and especially when we're talking about a guy like Brandon Law who has just been injured so often and we the Rays got to figure something out when it comes to a bat from the left-handed side it's interesting because earlier somebody texted in and was like time to let him go and we were talking about how you know there's no value in trading him and the, they ended up responding on the text line like where did I say trade why would you just dump a guy who, when healthy, can be valuable, whether, you know, regardless of how valuable. The guy is, like you talked about earlier, Aaron, the guy is a professional hitter. The guy can hit. When he's healthy, he can make an impact on this lineup. We thought if he could stay healthy, although it was unlikely and he hasn't, that he might be a key contributor for this team this year and kind of needed to be. Well, the reality is just dumping him for nothing makes zero sense. We've talked with guys before, most notably that I remember, Phil Esposito, hates the term injury prone. Yeah. Hates it. But sometimes, and it's very rarely, very rare that I'll disagree with Phil, but I got to disagree with him because guys like Brandon Lau, like it's unfortunate and I hate to say it and it doesn't make him a bad person. He's just injury prone. The guy's body gets beat up 
Um, he, I'm not calling him, um, you know, uh, Akash Bhatia. You ever ask Phil what he would use instead? I, I'm not calling him Bhatia, who 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 hurt his shoulder by giving a celebration last week after winning a uh, winning a tournament. We'll go into the playoff. He's not that, but he's a guy that goes into a batting cage, which happened here, and just takes some swings. Doesn't feel right. Gets an MRI. Thankfully, it's a low grade strain, and that means we could possibly see him returning in weeks rather than months. But you never know with Brandon because this could happen again. Yeah. He gets in the cage, he's feeling good, and then all of a sudden, one bad swing, which happens to him quite often, and then you're dealing with another issue. Yeah, and you don't know what to do about it because this is a lineup that desperately needs a left handed bat. It's not like. You can just, like this person saying, just, oh, yeah, just dump him off. Well, what are, what are you doing? You know, we expect Jonathan Aranda back soon, but you just don't have enough bats from that side of the plate. And, you know, I was trying to look during the during the break, like, are there any free agents that would be worth if the Rays were willing to spend a little money going out and getting? And, you know, most of those guys have come off the board already. And you've got some guys in, in the organization, but clearly they're not in a rush to call anybody up. But they've got to figure something out because this lineup, desperately needs those left-handed bats and they're finding a way listen they've won two consecutive road series now they've got a day off today to kind of figure things out but um i i don't know you you were talking about you know maybe there could be a move later in the season but can we wait that long it's like we've said about a lot of things can we wait can we wait for the pitchers to get back can we ma- wait to make a move for the left-handed bat i just don't know you may not have to go elsewhere we have to hope that jonathan aranda and from all reports that he will be back shortly dealing with that broken right ring finger um but you're gonna have to get the lefty bat and josh Lowe, who's dealing with an oblique strain himself get him back in the lineup so now we're looking at within the organization who else is available well we've heard and we've seen of Slavis Basabe. Will he be ready to come up? Well, that's a right-handed hitter, not a left-handed yeah. hitter, so it's an infielder. It fills that void, but it doesn't fill the void that you've been talking about, a left-handed bat. And then you've got a switch hitter and recently acquired Nico Goodrum that, who knows what we could get from him. So the Rays have to make a decision. Do they want to wait for Aranda to come back and fill that void, or do they want to look for a possible promotion in at the AAA level and bring somebody else up. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, week and, and, and trying to figure out what to do with this lineup. But overall, again, they're winning baseball games. They're getting good pitching. Um, it's kind of crazy when you think about the guys we've talked about that we really need to rely on in this rotation. Zach Eflin, Aaron Savali, and Zach Littell. The guy that we came into the year saying... We know exactly what to expect from. And again, I'm not souring on this guy. I'm not saying that he's an issue. But to this point, the guy who's had the big, the most trouble are out of our top three pitchers who we expect a lot from has been Zach Eflin. And that's what's crazy is, you know, you've gotten really good things from Aaron Savali. We've gotten really good things for the most part from Zach Littell. Only four and a third last night. I'd certainly like to see him give us more innings than that. Well, he just battled. He battled. Yeah. It's, it's more than just the stat line. It's you got to look at the game and, and what happened within that game. And the first inning was not good for him. For him to get out of that first inning without, you know, the damage, walking three straight batters to battle back, after that, it was always a battle. His pitch count was so high after that first yeah. inning that for him to just get through and get that back on the track, that was such a good sign to see that from Latell yesterday. No doubt. And listen, the, the circumstances matter, but so does the bullpen and not using them too much, right? So, yeah, and obviously, and again, they went 4-2. to two. So it's not like he got blown up. It's not like he pitched poorly. You know, there's nothing to complain about for the most part. You'd love him to give you at least five. You'd love him to give you six innings because you don't want to overwork the bullpen. You say that for all the starters. Yeah, you could. You could say that every day. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but again, we're for the we're getting that from Aaron Savali right now, which again we we didn't very often last year. You know what I mean? So uh, we expect that from from uh, Zach Eflin and and Zach Littell. But if we don't get it, like, yeah, it's you, you would like to see more. There's yeah. no doubt about well, it. Well, yeah, Zach Eflin has looked the worst out of out of all of those three when, when you when you took put those three together. Zach Eflin, the guy who we expected the most from, has not given us that. So for them to be on track and to be winning these ball games and games you look at how it went down yesterday and you needed kind of a wild pitch that scored two runs to get you going there and uh, get you ahead of the eight ball, the they're being able to win games where 
they don't have their best stuff. So if Eflin starts putting down the best stuff, if Savali... Which we've seen once. It's weird. He looked really good in the middle start. And Savali's early on in the season. So Savali, I can only imagine if he stays healthy, he's going to get stronger and more effective. Same thing with Zach Littell. And then Ryan Pepio as well. It takes the pressure off of him. You have three guys. Last year, there were so many guys going down that anybody that came up onto the mound, there just became so much pressure. Taj Bradley, poor guy, had to get called up, back down, called up, back down. And then there was pressure every time he, he, he stepped on the bump. So now you've got, if these guys are pitching well, it takes the pressure off of Pepio, who looked really good in his last start with 11 strikeouts, six innings of work. Th- that is a good sign trending in the right direction because you know there's more from this lineup to be had. Oh, no doubt. And listen, I was I was almost thinking to myself earlier, you know, you were talking about it looks like it's likely. And if you go to the Rays website, it does not show pitching matchups uh, for the Rays, at least. It, it actually says to be announced for all three of their games this weekend against San Francisco. But ESPN does have who they expect. And obviously, I, I would trust the Rays more than ESPN. But uh, it's Pepio going, it looks like, on Saturday and Eflin on Sunday. And I was almost thinking to myself, uh, I might prefer seeing uh, Ryan Pepio on Sunday just to get, you know, that firsthand look of him at him in person. Uh, because, again, his first uh, his last start, I should say, was, was so impressive. And it'll be interesting to see if he can do it again against San Francisco. Because if he can start to churn out those starts here and there, and again, you can't expect him to do what he did last week over and over again, 11 strikeouts. But if he can look like that here and there and then be pretty consistent the rest of the time, he's a kid that might end up looking like the best pitcher on the staff by midseason. And the reason there are questions right now and who's going to be pitching in the rotation is uh, Tyler Alexander's on the bereavement list. He's been dealing with a private matter. So he was slated to pitch Friday. Now they, they you know, now we're talking about uh, moving things around here. So now we could be seeing Jacob Waggis pack as part of a bullpen day. Or we could see Ryan Pepio uh, moved up, scheduled to start on Saturday. Who knows uh, what the Rays are going to do. When we find out, we will let you know. But that is a note from Tyler Alexander, who is on the bereavement list. Bob is bereavement. Uh, Bob is bereavement. Bob is bereaving right now uh, from Land of Lakes. He's not happy about uh, Brandon Lau. Uh, Bob, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? We're well. we got to sneak this one in. We're up against the break. What do we got, Bob? I got a little story. I got a job that I got to get to every day, and I have one car. I have this car. It's a great car. When I first had it, it ran for two, three months. It was freaking awesome. But ever since then, little things have gone wrong, like the transmission would go. I'd get it back on the road for a little bit. Then, you know, the power steering or or something else. You know what I named that car? Brandon Wow. You know <laughs> oh, why? Man. Because you can count on him for a little while, and he's awesome, and he's got potential. But I need to sell this car, let it be someone else's problem, and just get what I can for it and just move on. I'll give That's you a, what the Rays need to do with this guy. I'll give you a dollar. A dollar for him? Yeah. I no, for the car, him. not for him. I'm not no, buying it's people. Just, it's the same thing. Here's He's a, in the car. Yeah, no, Bob, I've got better advice for you than Aaron giving you a dollar, as a matter of fact. Okay, here's the thing. I wish the Rays could find the kind of value that I think you can find because I wish I knew the Rays had a trade partner like I know you have. All you got to do is drive Brandon Lau right over to Mazda of Clearwater, and they're going to take great care of you and get you into something that's much more Yandy Diaz. You know what I mean? Much more reliable. Is always going to be there for you. Will always come through. Bob, thank you for the phone call. And if call. you want to see how much the car is worth, just go to GiveMeTheVin.com. <laughs> yes. Mazda of Clearwater for that new or pre-owned vehicle. Well, that's where you can Bob. get the new vehicle. <laughs> yes. But you can see how much your old vehicle is worth. GiveMeTheVin.com. You forgot the jingle. So easy. You can do it in your underwear. Stop doing things in your underwear. Yeah. I do everything in my underwear. That's why nobody goes over to your house anymore. Well, they, they shouldn't, okay? Don't just show up. It's a bad idea because I might be naked. Like, if I've got underwear on, that's about it. This is the only place I wear clothes because they make me. All right, when we return, 888-546-4620. Buccaneer John, you got to go. We got a contest coming up, all right, bud? Yeah, you're not paying attention. 888-546-4620. If you want to win your way into Goons Getaway Day, it's a week from today. Rays, Angels, Goons, Baseball, you, us. It's going to be a blast. 888-546-4620 for your chance to win Goons Getaway Day tickets. That's coming up next on the Pat and Aaron Show on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. WDAE. Traffic Update. 
Increasing traffic in all the usual spots, including on westbound I-4 near Branch Forbes and approaching downtown Tampa. We're seeing delays in St. Pete, southbound 275, south of 175 to 22nd Avenue South. Two lanes are still blocked there from overnight construction. Crash being cleared in Largo, 66th Street, just south of Almerton near 126th. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Robert Half. Robert Half Research indicates 9 out of 10 hiring managers are having difficulty hiring. Robert Half is here to help. Their recruiting professionals use proprietary AI to connect businesses with highly skilled talent. At Robert Half, they know talent. Visit roberthalf.com today. The best live thoroughbred racing around. It is at Tampa Bay Downs. Easy to get to right in our backyard. And on Wednesdays, it is free. And then Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, it's only $3. Gates open at 11 a.m. Post time for the first race, 12.15. You can get your programs there at the program stands for two twenty five. dollars It's easy. You get informed by reading those programs. A race day program, it's going to show you all the information you need. So for the betters out there, the inexperienced betters, that's going to help you out. Plus, they've got tip sheets for the inexperienced bettors, so you can make some good bets and potentially win some big money. Always great things happening at Tampa Bay Downs. April 7th from 12 to 3, you're going to have the entire family having some great times out there on the track. Everyone's going to get to meet the track mascot, Mouse the Miniature Horse, and also the kids can enjoy the pony rides, bounce houses, a variety of games, all these great activities. April 7th, 12 to 3, only at Tampa Bay Downs. Check them out online, tampabaydowns.com. That's tampabaydowns.com. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-6759. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-6759. That's 800-575-6759. Tax Relief Advocates. Real solutions for real people. The Busch Gardens Tampa Bay Food and Wine Festival is back every weekend and now through May 19th with over 75 different culinary delights to sip and savor. Plus free concerts like Hoobastank this weekend. Save on tickets, fun cards, and annual passes at BuschGardensTampa.com. Climbing ladders to clean your gutters stinks. For only $1 per foot, let the gutter experts at the Rhino clean your clog gutters before they cause damage to your home. That's right, just a buck a foot. You enjoy your game day while they do the dirty work. Go to the Rhino.com and schedule your cleaning today. An iHeartRadio Sports Report, presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Alt 2K. Don't want to be an American idiot. A commercial free look back to alternative from the 2000s. With Foo Fighters, Weezer, Linkin Park, Green Day, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and more. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Alt 2K, and listen now. iHeartRadio, free never sounded so good. iHeartRadio. This report is sponsored by True Green. True Green is the easiest and most affordable way to get a beautiful lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan by April 20th, you get one application free. Call or visit TrueGreen.com today. Restrictions apply. We're going to see some sun this morning, but the clouds are going to roll in. We have about an 80% chance of showers today. It's going to be breezy at times as well. Our high right around 80 Overnight, partly cloudy. It's going to be cooler at 63. Tomorrow, nothing but sun and good news. Humidity, not really there. Our high right around 77. Sports talk for your ride home. On the drive with t Crash. This afternoon at 3. Now, back to the Pat and Aaron Show on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. 888. 888- 546-4620. That's how you call us here. 888-546-4620. Your chance to win a four-pack of tickets to Goons Getaway Day. It's coming up this Thursday. Well, a week from today, I should say, uh, against the Anaheim Angels. I called them that again. 
<laughs> L.A. Angels of Anaheim. They except they're not anymore. They're just the L.A. Angels. Even I, though they're in Anaheim, I smell so good today. And it's, oh, good. I'm glad you said good. No, it's not my natural smell. Okay, I uh, know <laughs> it's it's usually deodorant when I, we smell good. Remember, I told you that uh, I ran into Raheem Morris's dad, Kenyon. He's the nicest guy ever, and my he lives in my building. Yeah, and he he's got all these like Buck shirts that he just doesn't wear, and he he just, he sees me in Bucks gear all the time. He's and like, you were telling me that you were going to donate them to people. You're wearing them instead. Well, yeah, I realized that <laughs> I, they all fit me really well, and they're very nice. Um, so I got all this nice Bucks gear. He smells so good. I didn't wash any of the clothes. I was just going to ask you that, so no. you just threw on his clothes. <laughs> I, oh, did, okay. I did. I did. I love Mr. Morris. I love, I love people, too. I would just, I don't know, me personally would probably wash something. No, before. not, not anymore. Gonna... I don't ever want to watch it, wash it with this smell. It smells way better than me. It's got cologne on it, which means uh, it hasn't been washed since the last time it was worn. But hey. I don't know if it was ever worn. This might be like the natural, like, uh, some of the stuff was just in This whole apartment smells amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, loft. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. 888-546-4620. If you want your way, want to win your way into Goon's Getaway Day. If you're a Rays fan, this one should be easy. Rob is in Tampa. Rob, good morning. Good morning. How are you? You're better than your phone. Uh, exactly. Yeah. What do you want? Speakerphone? Bluetooth? How are you screwing us this morning, Your phone on Rob? crack? Uh, yeah. I'm on, a, I'm on speaker on a hands-free. How's this? Is this any better? Yeah, after we got the boop-boop. We got All right, one shame, one shame for you, Rob. All right, Rob, who hit his first home run as a member of the Tampa Bay Rays just yesterday? Oh, let's go with uh, let's go with Rort Vet. Oh, eliminated. No, he had a hit yesterday, but I'd like to see him get going. That's yeah. a lefty bat. I mean, like you said, he's his batting. He's hitting the ball well he's so far. He's getting a hit again. Like 360 something yeah, now, 370 every, something. 368. Every time he's getting a hit, every time he's getting in the game, he's getting a hit. Uh, so he hit one to the left yesterday, too. That almost uh, dropped down as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, left handed bat. We've been asking for it. 888 546 4620. If you want to win your way into Goons Getaway Day, Keaton is in Oldsmar. Keaton, who hit his first home. Home run as a member of the Tampa Bay Rays yesterday. Man, I'm going to let down a lot of people here because I was hoping for a lightning question. I just started listening to you guys, and I'm just now learning baseball, so I'm not your guy today. Oh uh, no, that, that we appreciate you listening to us, and hopefully we will uh, we will help you out with baseball now that we're uh, getting you. Well, you're yo, you're into changing it. me for sure, man. Sweet, this is, I've been lightning hardcore, and then I came across this old truck, and all I got is the radio. I get you guys, and suddenly I really like baseball. I just <laughs> now I want to just give him the ticket. Are we turning you into a goon too? Bro, you definitely turned me into a goon. My wife even was like, what? What are you doing? Like, you don't usually listen to radio like this. I'm like, I'm obsessed with these guys, man. I get up in the morning just so I can get to work early and listen to you. Where do you and you could go to the game next week? Next Thursday, uh, day yeah, game? Yeah, I can go to the game next week. Absolutely. Oh, Pat, he's a new listener. But he's listen, got... man, I mean, I feel I don't want to be the guy that didn't get the question, right? You know what I mean? And he's a man of integrity. You he might is. not be for this show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Ugh. I I feel I feel you know we've got other people on hold. All right, like, all right. Because you're a man of integrity, and I respect the hell out of that. I wouldn't be that. Would Would you want if you played tomorrow? If you had time to call in tomorrow, I, I want him to be like the automatic first caller tomorrow. Well, we can do Keaton. If you're ready for that, we can figure that out. Same time tomorrow, six forty five tomorrow. You're up first. Listen, 6.45 tomorrow, I'll be there. Let's go. All right, awesome. Thank you for uh, for jumping aboard, man, yeah. and thank you for uh, keeping AMFM hey, alive in the truck. You guys are awesome. We appreciate you. Thanks, Keaton. That's oh, cool. Oh, man, now I feel guilty. Why? We just we hooked him up with the first chance tomorrow. Because I'm like, once, it's like, I'm. it's like in my life, I'm shocked when, for instance, when a girl likes me, mm. I'm like, really? We're both shocked by that. Yeah, I'm like, what? Oh, man, I got to do anything I can to I'm like, how much do you know about him, actually? And that's the same thing with listeners. <laughs> when they're like, I like these guys. I'm like, really? Yeah, oh, I only man. said he's new to the show, right? Yeah. Like, a lot of people listen and don't really like us. Well, that's why I'm like, how do I keep him in? Because some people I'm sure that like us at first, and they're like, I hate these guys after a year. I wonder how much that's happened. I'm very curious, because we've heard a lot about the other way, where people have turned and been like, you know what? I thought these guys really sucked. Now I think they just suck a little bit. Uh, let's go to Matt and Bradenton, Matt, good morning. How we doing, guys? We are well. Uh, who hit their first home run as a member of the Tampa Bay Rays yesterday? That would be a one, Jose Caballero. Jose Caballero! 
Sorry, I'm very excited. Matt, congratulations. Uh, you're heading to Goon's Getaway Day with us next week. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Hold on so Casey can get your information. And, again, you're heading to Goon's Getaway Day. We're about an hour away from me watching Aaron Jacobson lift up out of his seat. A little euphoria going on on the other side of the table. We got the Masters. And I was thinking about this, Aaron. I was thinking about this. This is an interesting dichotomy for, like, most of my life when it comes to the Masters. Oh. Here it is. The Azaleas. Eamon Corner. Think about this for a second, Aaron Jacobson. For years, we would have possibly taken Tiger Woods versus the field when it comes to the Masters or any tournament. But now, we're just hoping that he can make the cut and set a record for making the cut at the Masters and also play 72 holes. And I will tell you this, Aaron Jacobson, and I might be alone because a lot of people have loved Tiger Woods more than I have through his career. But I, today and this weekend, I am rooting harder for Tiger Woods to make the cut than I've ever rooted for him to win a tournament. Hello, friends. Tiger making the cut would be fantastic. That's all he needs to do. 89 of the best golfers in the world converging on the best course in the world, Augusta National Golf Club. The azaleas are blooming, and we are an hour away from tea time, and my bets will be booming. A loaded 7 o'clock hour on the Pat and Aaron Show starts next. But first, this message from the Bartow Ford DAE text line. Pat, not clothed, might be an incentive to show up at his house alone. Ah, Azaleas. I'm impressed by that text. Someone wants to see me naked, Aaron. When you need bucks, rays, bolts, and more, you can't find time while you're slaving away at the office. We got you covered, fella. Punch the clock, buckle up, and lock in for the drive with T-Crast. Making afternoon commutes more entertaining since... 2024, The Drive with T-Kraz. Afternoon to 3 on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick! Sorry, kids! Yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. Oh, I can't believe tax season is here already. But look at all this info I have to enter. Phil's small accounting firm is growing in numbers. Why didn't I take that typing class in high school? A data entry specialist could really help him in a crunch. I got blisters on my fingers. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design lighting and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom, California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them T-Crash sent you. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, over 3 million people called Morgan & Morgan in their time of need. And with over a million of those calls coming from previous clients, friends, and family. My name is Rita Fowler. I was in the car actually relaxing. I was talking to my sister, and all of a sudden, boom, the car hit us. I wound up actually having a stroke. And that's when I decided to call Morgan & Morgan. The whole operation, everything they did from day one, it was self-explanatory. It was text messages. It was emails. It was a no-brainer. When you think that hiring a lawyer is hard, you haven't called Morgan & Morgan. Thank you for trusting us. We've become the largest injury firm in the world because we've won a lot. The word is out. Size matters. Reputation matters. We're America's largest injury law firm for a reason. With over 900 dedicated attorneys and climbing, we're ready wherever you are, whatever you need. The choice is easy. We're just a phone call away. Injured? Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Ah, the sounds of baseball. 
But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audibel Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audibel Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. Does your business need a reliable and trusted partner for network and information technology services? Look no further than Applied Innovations IT experts. Applied Innovation offers fully managed network services, a program where you outsource all of your IT needs to Applied Innovation. Partnering with Applied Innovation provides you with a suite of IT services, including managed backup and recovery, vendor management, a 24-7 help desk, and managed security. Network security is something all businesses should be concerned with. Hackers using ransomware can cripple a business both large and small. With Applied Innovation managing your network and data security, you stay one step ahead of potential cyber attacks. Want peace of mind? Want a partner that truly cares about your business and your future? Call Applied Innovation today, 800-521-0983, or visit AppliedInnovation.com. Applied Innovation. Fast, friendly, amazing. Thanks for calling Discover. This is Gabby. Hey, Gabby. It's Jennifer Coolidge. Hi. I'm, I'm so glad I reached you at 2 a.m. Oh, of course. Anyone with a Discover card can call and talk to a real person 24-7. Now, how can I help? Yeah, I used my Discover card to buy these yellow pleather pajamas, and I'm just not sure I'm pulling them off. 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. It pays to Discover. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The home of Bolts Nation before the ice was laid down in Tampa Bay. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellas Park. And the mighty 620, WDAE, St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Lightning fans, free has never sounded so good. Take WDAE with you anywhere you want with a free iHeartRadio app and using your Alexa. Now, back to the Pat and Aaron Show on WDAE, streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. 7 o'clock hour on the Pat and Aaron Show, Masters Morning, as the guys are getting ready to tee off in about an hour's time, a little less than an hour now, we will see the first tee time. Will Tiger Woods get off to a good start today? Well, he's been waiting to play and get ready. He's gear, been gearing up to just play Augusta, and he better be in good shape. He better be putting himself well, he's not in, in good shape. But he better be putting himself in good positions because of the fact that he's not in the best shape. He gave up sex to get ready for this. And that's why he knows he's got to find the perfect spots on the course. Nobody knows this course better than him. I mean, there are some guys, you know, Freddie Couples, some guys that are just have dominated the Masters, know the course. Tiger's one of those guys. He understands every inch of this course, and it's so undulating. There's so many hills, so many awkward angles that for Tiger, the wear and tear on the legs, he's got to be really careful to make sure that every ball is perfectly positioned so a flat ground is going to be most beneficial to a guy like Tiger. You love some good undulation, don't you? I love undulation. Actually, I hate undulation. I like seeing it. I hate playing (laughs) Yeah, Oh, yeah. You know, nobody wants to play on it. Uh, I don't want to play on anything. I'm just terrible. But um, do you think there's a lot of people that are that are like me, or there are some people like me that like weren't really a huge fan of Tiger Woods while he was great, but now after seeing oh, everything he's gone through, especially in recent years, the way that he's clearly humbled himself, and just the you know the whole story of like what's happened to him with the accident, how he is physically. That even though they weren't really a fan of his when he was great, are now rooting for him just to make the cut, just to play seventy two. Because we all know, I don't think it would mean as much to him as winning those tournaments back in the day, winning those Masters. But I think it would mean an absolute ton to him just to play seventy two this weekend. I think you're absolutely right. I, I first of all, 
What do we love in this country? We love a comeback story. We love it. So we will drag people down just to bring them back up. And that's a lot what we saw in 2019 was this guy had been dragged through it for 10 years. He had been battling injuries. He dragged himself through it a lot, if we're being fair. Yes, but, I mean, what Tiger did was obviously wrong. You have a wife, you have kids, you're cheating on her, right? Is he the first person to do it on this planet? It went. I think it went beyond that, though. I think, was, I, think, I think there's a lot of things that he would look back at and change as far as like who he was as a human being well, outside of cheating that. on his wife. I think we would all do that. Um, I think he would wish that he would treat people better. And I don't think there's a lot of instances where I would say that. And I think there's a lot of people who would say, I, I, I don't, not that we all treat people like gold or, or everything, but like maybe that we didn't treat people poorly. And I think you could say for a lot of times that Tiger Woods did. And I don't know about that. What I do know is he wasn't as loose where he wasn't as fun. He took everything too seriously. And it, for me as a golf fan or but a budding golf fan at that time, I, I love the eye of the tiger, pun intended, but I also didn't love at times where he couldn't be relaxed. And it's something we saw. He was a stiff. He, he was, he a, was stiff. a stiff. And Everywhere he went, it wasn't just about golf. He was a stiff. And that has changed so much because not only he realizes his limitations because of the injuries, but also I think the younger guys, because of the younger generation coming up and really idolizing him, they have become friends with it. Justin Thomas has brought out a different type type of Tiger Woods. Younger guys have brought out a more playful type of Tiger Woods. And well, I think that accident has brought up to, uh, has brought out a different Tiger Woods and would bring out a different person in, in anybody. Whenever you go through something, I his leg was mangled. He he saw his mortality in that incident. Like he realized how close he was to losing his life, and that will absolutely change a human being. I think it was before that. I think it, he he was he was start you were starting to see the change before that. And no I think doubt. that's with everything that went on with the cheating scandal. But for his life to be dragged like it was over a cheating scandal. I mean, how many hor horrific things? Not to say that, not to diminish you know cheating, but on a grand scale of awful things that athletes do, it's nothing to me. Like it's a it's a blip on the radar for me because there are again, so it was more than the cheating. It was cheating. There was the DUI stuff. There was the drug issues. Like there was a lot. And again, I won't judge a guy for that stuff. A lot of people go through a lot of terrible things in life. But when you have all that stuff combined with at least from th a lot of things I've heard and read and, and been around. Right. Like I've been at golf tournaments where I've had people explain to me because they volunteer for a lot of golf tournaments, how at every tournament they have a dinner where all the volunteers get to eat, and at every table there's a pro golfer. Tiger never showed up to those for years. Like, stuff like that. There's a lot of face-to-face -face interactions. There's a lot of things I've seen from Tiger Woods over the years where, like, he just didn't seem like a good dude. And if you have that combined with all those other things, you're going to get dragged. And I think the turn, of the tide turning was because he started uh, coming back, but also his attitude did change, yeah. and he became easier to root for. And I think in 2019, we saw that when he won the Masters, coming back from everything. Everyone was behind Tiger. And since then, everyone has been behind Tiger. So I know a lot of people root for Tiger out there. Plus, the villain is now Live Golf. <laughs> Those are the villains. <laughs> so Tiger is no longer playing that villain card where back in the day during the Tiger-Phil rivalry, a lot of people were on Phil Mickelson's side of that of that rivalry, of that coin. Now, with Phil being the man in black and, and Live Golf, he's it's opposite. Dude, it's such a great point because it, even if you think about Tiger Woods specifically, you can change, for a lot of people, I think, the way they look at Tiger. Because if you look, I hate the Live Golf thing. I kind of get it, but I, I, I hate it. But like if you're one like some people look at it with a lot of vitriol, right? With like just complete anger. And and like I get it. I totally understand that. If you're one of those people, you really look at the live at live golf and those golfers, I don't know but as evil, but you 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 have a dislike for them. You have a disdain for them, right? Well, think about the guy who could have made the most money going to live golf. That was Tiger Woods. He was offered from all reports a ton of money to go to live golf. He turned it down. And he said, like, why you turn? And like that, if you hate the live golf stuff, that's going to turn you on to Tiger so much more. The fact that he said F you to those people. Most of the people that were against, like my dad, for instance, hates anyone who joins live. But it's so inconsistent. And I don't know if my dad's alone in this or there are a lot of other people that hate live that are, are in the same boat where they had early hate for the guys that first went to, to live, like obviously Norman and then Phil, you know, and then everyone that followed. But now that we've come to the point where we are now, we're, we're going to see a merger at some point. We don't know when, but it's obvious a merger is going to happen between the PGA Tour and Live Golf. 
that like John Rom goes over there over there for a reported three hundred and fifty million dollars. And when I ask those same people that hate live golf, how do you feel about John Rom now? They're like, well, you know. And it's like, well, why now? Why? Because time is elapsed and because they're going to merge that now you're okay with a guy like John Rom going over there. So yeah. a lot of the people that are against it, I don't think they understand why they're against it. It just might be a popular opinion, no offense, Dad, to, to be against the Saudis. Yeah, I'm against it. But also, like, I look at these guys, like, you can understand how they make the decision. They're not going over there because they want to support terrorism. Like, I get that. Yes. But at the same time, like you like, can make the distinction. I, it would, it'd be hard for me. It'd be hard for me to accept that money if I already had a ton of it. Well, people say sports washing, and I guess everyone's different. But, like, I don't look at the Saudis as, like, reputable now because of their ties to golf and different sporting events. But there are people who will. Yeah, that's true. There are people who will. And then and then people don't want that. And I don't think they and should. I, I don't, I don't, and I don't blame them for that. 888-546-4620. Adam is in Clearwater. Adam, good morning. Good morning, guys. Hey, uh, I don't like the way you guys are talking to Tiger, man. Um, you know, listen, he was married to a beautiful woman, but he had respect for women. And you could tell by that because he was hanging out with a girl from Bennigan's. I like this. I love Bennigan's. I love, I love you, Adam. <laughs> love that. Way. I was wondering where this phone call was going and it went the best way possible. Um, today, th <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, coverage Adam. on ESPN will be at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Um, I know ESPN Plus is going to add a lot, of the, a lot of the coverage. And then over the weekend in the afternoon, it's going to be uh, CBS with the coverage. Ricky Fowler got it done in the Par 3 contest yesterday. John Rahm won the Masters. Last year, Brooks Kepka was leading heading into Sunday. Had a really rough uh, Sunday uh, last year. But it is, uh, as far as the field goes, looking at the field here, there are 89 players this year, so uh, the Masters field varies every single year. 89 players how, this how year. How much does it vary? Between 85 and 100 players. Oh, so this is a, a relatively small field. Yeah, 89. 89. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I did not realize that. By the way, the 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 call screen, Aaron said, uh, wants you to stop bashing Tiger. So I thought, like, wait, like. We were literally just talking about how we're rooting for him. I was saying I was rooting for him. Like, yes, I was honest about my opinion of him early in his career and what I believe he was as a human being. But, like, I'm saying I'm rooting for him. So I'm like, I'm expecting that, like, this jerk phone call. And he was hilarious. I was ready to fight him because I was like, wait, I defended Tiger and said <laughs> I didn't understand why everyone was freaking out. By the way, never been to Bennigan's. What's that about? <laughs> Not one time have I ever been I to Bennigan's. I don't know if I've been to Bennigan's. I've heard imagine... so much about it, though. It oh, feels... wait, I think I have. I don't think I've been to Bennigan's, but in my mind, it's like the same as Perkins. Yes. Perkins used to be, man, Perkins was great. Loved Perkins. Heidi, if you're listening, text me. I'm pretty sure that's where we went, where she got a Monte Cristo. You ever get a Monte Cristo? She loves those <laughs> Love things. Love Monte those Cristo. Money. A little sugary. Must, much better when they're on the grill than fried, though. Hmm. Oh, by the way, really quickly, since we're on the topic of food, here we go. Uh, Casey Warner, we're taking him out for lunch today. Yes, the young man wants sushi in Tampa. We don't want to be going all over the place. We're all Tampa guys in Tampa. What is your if you have one? What is your favorite sushi place? Eight two nine four five Barto four D A text line. We're looking for a great sushi place to take uh, Casey Warner this afternoon in Tampa. So 82945 if you've got a, a great recommendation for us. Kid's been working hard. We want to take him out. I said, what do you want to eat? He goes, you guys like sushi? I go, I love sushi. So we we want to find him a good sushi place. So please uh, help us out here. And uh, not one of those like, oh, actually, you know what? I'll take an all. Casey, will you do an all you can eat sushi buffet? There's one right down the street from my house that I haven't tried yet. If you want to do that. Casey, are you an all-you-can-eat type of guy, or are you like uh, you want to go high end? I'm I'm cool with either one. I'll I'll unload uh, the uh, whatever you want. I'll w the wallet's out today well, for you, buddy. I'll tell you what. It depends what state I'm in. If you know what I mean. If I'm an all-you-can-eat <laughs> kind of guy, you'll but, be in uh, the all-you-can-eat kind of state. Yeah, right? so let, let's go with all-you-can-eat, man. All right. All well, right. listen, that might make sense to meet at Miles Playoffs on Fowler. Brand new all-you-can-eat hibachi and sushi. So what's the point of the goons now? We don't need their help anymore. Yeah. No, well, we still I mean, do. We I, I want to get see some other... great suggestions. Yeah, I'm an option guy. I'll look at DoorDash for like an hour and then go with nothing, um, and then just like drive down hey, the street. Immediately delete DoorDash. That no, is, that's no, the no, 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 no. Uh, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that they that they hurt you when you were delivering for them and then oh. they cut you off. It was a terrible story. However, um, DoorDash consistently gets me my food like so fast and Uber Eats could never get me my food. Like, I don't, yeah, I can't get into my Uber account because my email, like an old email, so I can't even take Ubers. I'm a Lyft and a, and a uh, DoorDash guy. I'm not kidding you. 
The uh, same, I see you complaining all the time. The same you. stuff. Not anymore. The same stuff that would always take me over an hour to get from Uber Eats takes me usually less than 30 minutes every time from DoorDash. And anytime you would do it with Uber Eats, you'd go on Twitter and you'd bitch up a storm. And I'd be like, has he not learned his lesson? Clearly, you've learned your lesson. Uh, today uh, at the Masters, Augusta, the forecast is calling for a lot of some thunderstorms today. Here, could, too. Yeah, it could taper off in the afternoon. Yeah, ex- exactly. Uh, some bad weather coming our way uh, later today. But... Friday, sunny, breezy. Then the weekend's going to be beautiful at Augusta. We'll get into the field a little bit later on as well. Casey Hudson's going to be here in the 8 o'clock hour. We know we get best bets from Casey. She's a big golf fan. Maybe I'll try to you know, get some uh, good master's bets out of Casey Hudson. We're not cooking in the kitchen anymore? We're going to be cooking in Casey's kitchen a little bit later on. On the other side, though, the Rays took care of business out west. We'll get back into that successful road trip and take a look ahead. Plus, we got to get into this report out there about the Bucks and their level of optimism towards getting a deal done with Antoine Winfield Jr. sooner rather than later. Are they more or less optimistic the deal gets done soon? We'll get to that on the other side. WDAE traffic update. Crash on westbound I-4 near the exit for Hillsboro Avenue, right there near the fairgrounds and the Hard Rock. The center lane blocked here and traffic jammed up from I-75. Also, we're seeing delays southbound 40th Street near River Hills due to a crash. Southbound 275 between Fowler Avenue and Hillsboro and delays in St. Pete. Southbound 275 just south of Tropicana Field towards 31st Street South. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. What could you do in 15 minutes? How about a premium oil change? At Valvoline Instant Oil Change, our certified technicians will guide you in, use only premium products, and get you back out on the road in no time. Quick, easy, trusted. That's Valvoline Instant Oil Change. We are connected internationally. We have relationships in the diamond industry that go back decades. Sources all over the world. International Diamond Center's owner Keith LeClaire explains how IDC always offers to beat anyone else's price on a diamond. We buy direct from the cutters, we pay cash, and we just don't believe in typical jewelry store markups. With his background as a wholesaler, Keith says IDC's business model is based on lower margins and higher volume. We're not here to sell you something for a quick buck. So it comes down to better sourcing and low markup. That's why we guarantee the best value price. If you're buying a diamond, engagement ring, or any fashion jewelry, come experience a refreshing alternative to the typical jewelry experience at IDC. We're here to offer the right price on every piece of jewelry that you buy from IDC. Real value from real people. We'd rather make a little bit and keep you as a customer than make a lot of it and lose you as a customer. International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. And online at shopidc.com. Doors take us to summers away, or winter adventures, and afternoon getaways. Your dedicated Fidelity Advisor can help you open those doors by working with you on a comprehensive plan to help you reach your wealth's full potential, because doors were meant to be opened. Visit fidelity.com slash wealth. Investment minimum supply. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC. Member NYSE SIPC. Every business faces challenges, but complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping shouldn't be one of them. With USPS Ground Advantage from the United States Postal Service, you can avoid all the noise. No more unexpected surcharges, hidden fees, or complex rate structures. It's just easy, cost-effective, and dependable shipping. Tune your business's frequency to success and turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at usps.com slash advantage. USPS Ground Advantage. Simple, affordable, reliable. Hey there, Tampa Bay. It's Steve and Elizabeth Holland at the Holland Group. We want to talk to you about the importance of tax planning, or as we like to call it, the art of legally keeping your money away from Uncle Sam. With 30 years of experience, we realize there are tax strategies you may not know about. If done properly, we can save you real money. So call the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, serving Tampa Bay since 1993. 727-228-6449. Tampa Golfers, Global Golf Outlet is now open with the largest selection of used clubs in Florida. You'll find thousands of used name brand clubs to choose from, all at one location. TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, Ping, Cleveland, and more, all at incredible prices. And at Global Golf Outlet, you'll also find hundreds of closeout deals on bags, shoes, and apparel. It's Florida's largest and only golf outlet where you can try, buy, and trade all in one place. Global Golf Outlet, located on Gun Highway in the Hampton Plaza. Trajan 
Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953WDAE.com slash rules. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Alt 2K. Don't want to be an American idiot. A commercial free look back to alternative from the 2000s. We Foo Fighters, Weezer, Linkin Park, Green Day, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and more. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Alt 2K, and listen now. iHeartRadio, free, never sounded so good. iHeartRadio. This report is sponsored by Cracker Barrel. It pays to be early, because at Cracker Barrel, you can get early dinner deals weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. That includes their signature meatloaf, home-style chicken, and more, starting at just $8.99. So make tonight an early dinner night. We're going to see some sun this morning, but the clouds going to roll in. We have about an 80% chance of showers today. It's going to be breezy at times as well, or high right around 80. Overnight, partly cloudy. It's going to be cooler at 63. Tomorrow, nothing but sun and good news. Humidity, not really there. Our high right around 77. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. The expectation was that he was kind of a, that winning player that's going to do everything, little things to help your team win. I think he's done that through 12 games now, 13 games, whatever it is. Uh, you know, there were question marks about can he handle shortstop simply because he didn't have the reps at it. But I, mean, I feel like he's proven two weeks into spring training that he's pretty comfortable over there and makes a lot of plays. Yeah, that's right. That's Kevin Cash on the play of Jose Caballero, who hit his Ooh. first Jose Caballero, I better. who hit his first home run as a member of the Tampa Bay Rays yesterday, but it was the glove, the leather, that saved this team really rangy yesterday, diving to both sides, making huge plays. Yanni Diaz helping him out on a throw over to first, making a scoop over there. But huge job from Jose Caballero, and the production we've seen from him from the plate has been great. Yeah. But this team has been built on pitching and defense for so long, and that position, that shortstop position, is so vital. And that's why Taylor Walls, who has been lacking at the plate, it's why we penciled him in to play shortstop because we just know how good that glove is. But if you have Jose Caballero doing that at shortstop, that's right. And uh, we love Taylor Walls, but if you got Jose Caballero producing from the plate but also flashing the leather, you're going to have some really good things to see from Jose Caballero moving forward. And I'll tell you what, you know pitchers love it, especially pitchers that are struggling. And at times during the game yesterday, really early on that first inning, Latell was struggling. And to know that you have that defense behind you, it takes a lot of pressure off and makes you feel comfortable. Here's Zach Latell on that play. Yeah, I mean, since he got here in spring, he's just been a putting together pro at bat, like just an overall pro player, making the plays he needs to make. Um, he's been a, a really nice addition uh, in the back half of that lineup where he's a, a pro at bat, putting together good play appearances, uh, making plays in the field, and he's a really, really steady presence, so it's, it's nice to know he's there. Yeah, and exactly right. It's nice to know he's there, and he mentioned the production from the plate, but also to know on defense that he's a guy behind him that's going to be making some plays. It's got to make a pitcher feel comfortable. It's hilarious because before we heard that audio, I was like, well, Zach Littell talking about Jose Caballero. I was like, obviously, he's going to be talking about his play in the field. I'm sure he's not going to be talking about him at the plate. And uh, he did that more than once. <laughs> but good day overall for the Rays to get that done and win both series out west. Both of them that uh, it wasn't easy. It was a bit tumultuous when you look at. The series all around, both of them, resilience is the word I'm going to use against the Rockies and the Angels, a word you know I love, but lost the first game of each series and then came back. And by the way, both were tough losses. Yeah. Bounced back from those losses with back-to-back -back wins. Really good job. And On a good the job road the, out west, too, which I think is significant. No doubt. And a good job by the bullpen uh, to do that. And guys like Jose Caballero really stepping up. And the Rays' first road trip, uh, yeah, there were some highs and some lows, but overall, a very successful road trip. Jose Caballero's play has been much more consistent than our Jose Caballero's. That's... Then, yeah, well, I, sometimes I don't want to go full <laughs> Jose Caballero. I, I get a little uh, self-conscious. Well, then why? I don't know. I got to get Enrique or you to, to come on and make me feel more comfortable. I mean, granted it. that Casey was the best the first time around, but, you know. 
We're there. You're we're gonna, better than me. We're going to have Matt Matera joining us in a few minutes from Pewter Report, go over the Buccaneers draft and what it's going to look like here and some maybe surprise moves they, they may make and they may be looking for. But when it comes to this offseason, they've retained the guys they needed to. They brought in some depth as well. But this draft is going to be important. But also important is keeping guys like Tristan Wirfs and Antoine Winfield Jr. here for a very long time. And Antoine Winfield Jr. is on the franchise tag now. But we don't want him to stay on that. We want the Buccaneers to get a long-term deal done with Antoine Winfield Jr. And my question is, why wait? I mean, lock him in. If you're Jason Light, you have to get this deal done sooner rather than later for reasons that you can help yourselves as far as the cap, but also just make the guy's going to get paid. Yeah. So make sure you keep him happy, pay the guy, because you don't want him to go anywhere else, and you don't want him to even entertain it. I have zero concern. Because this is just what the Buccaneers do, right? Like Jason Light right. and everybody upstairs, they've just done such a great job. But interesting, if you look at it, right? Um, I'm, I'm always so bad at, at uh, Justin uh, Matabuke, uh, but he's resigned. He, these are the guys that were franchised. Uh, he resigned with the Ravens for four years, 98. Uh, Legarius Sneed was traded to the Titans. He's resigned for four years, 76.4. Uh, Brian Burns with the stupid money that he got. The Giants traded for him and then gave him five years and $141 million. And then Josh Allen with the Jaguars, not the other Josh Allen, five years, $150 million to remain there. So those are the other guys that got the franchise tag. T. Higgins, Antoine Winfield Jr., the only two guys right now that have been franchised that have yet to sign a long-term deal it's going to be really – usually you see at least a couple guys play on the franchise tag. It might only be T. Higgins this year. If Cincinnati can't get it done, I expect the Bucks to get it done. I really do. Yeah, the the franchise tag is interesting. And I, how do you feel it's changed over the years? Because do you think teams used to use it more, like kind of like you alluded to at, right now, a lot of these guys might not even be playing on the franchise tag. What, do you think the way teams – have lo- obviously players don't want to be on the franchise tag. Yeah. Do you think the way organizations look at it has changed over the years? No. I think it's always been you use it as that placeholder until you can hopefully get a deal done with a guy. If you don't want a guy long term, you're probably not going to waste the time to franchise tag him unless it's just to, like we saw with Legarius Sneed, like we saw with Brian Burns, turn around and trade them before they're able to go into free agency. Outside of that, if you don't want to lock him up long term, What's the point of putting a franchise tag on a guy? That's what I thought was so weird about it. I have to go back and look at how many times he was franchise tag, but Kirk Cousins back in Washington. It was like they never They tru- just couldn't get it done. Yeah. I, and to me, I'm like, do they want to commit to him? Do they truly trust him? Are they still? Because at that point, when you franchise tag him at the amount you can, you're like, you either know or you don't know, yeah. you would assume. I think it's because it was the Washington whatever the hell they were at the time. The Washington was Snyders. Such a bad or- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Such a bad organization that it's just hard to, you know, compare them to anybody else. But Buccaneers, good organization, and also yeah. Pewter Report as well. A great one. Matt Matera, another one, going to join us on the other side. We haven't talked to Matt in a while. So Just call him an organization? He is well, a great organization. <laughs> Matt Matera, a great organization, joining us next on the Pat and Aaron Show. Turn up the excitement. WDAE's Drive with T-Crass, Pat and Aaron, <laughs> and Jay and Zach are now live, live on, on YouTube. YouTube. Watch WDAE, like the video, and subscribe for an immersive sports talk experience like you've never experienced before. WDAE on YouTube. Like and subscribe. LeVar Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. LeVar Buick GMC, the number three. Two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Revar Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC. We are professional grade. Opening your home to showings means strangers can open anything. Don't worry about getting around to spring cleaning. Sell your home with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and skip the cleaning and organizing necessary to sell your home. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson. Say goodbye to the stress that comes with a traditional home sale. With a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain's Real Estate, you can receive an all-cash offer and close within days. No showings, no open houses, no costly repairs. Mark Spain Real Estate makes selling your home stress-free. Check them out. MarkSpain.com for the guaranteed offer. No obligation. 
That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. t Kranz here for my friends over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar. As a homeowner, I know the importance of having a strong roof over your head, and that's exactly what my guys over at Green Tech Roofing and Solar do. They're the number one roofing solution in the Tampa Bay area, offering free inspections. They offer a wide selection, asphalt shingles, tile, metal roofing options as well. They do residential and commercial. They have over 300 five-star reviews, so check them out. Visit their website, get an accurate assessment, go to greentechroofing.com. Spring's here, and your home to-do list is getting longer. Don't stress. Ierna's Heating and Cooling has you covered 24-7 with cooling and plumbing solutions to fit any budget. From minor upgrades to major repairs, no matter your home's needs, we get it done and get it done right the first time. Schedule your seasonal AC tune-up today. Avoid costly breakdowns when our certified technicians inspect your system, ensuring it runs efficiently and remove built-up dust, pollen, and dander so you can breathe easier. Book now at ironaair.com forward slash radio. Bet on Online is your number one source for all your summer sports this season. With Major League Baseball, golf, pro basketball, and hockey playoffs, stats, news, and scores are right at your fingertips. Get the latest odds and lines, including the latest team matchups, player props, and odds on just about every sport out there. Head to the website today from your desktop or mobile device to get in on the action. Bet Online, where the game starts. Dealing with your gutters is a swing and a miss. Let the Rhino Gutter Experts pinch hit for you. Schedule now and you can get a $300 discount on services. Plus, the Rhino offers military and senior discounts. So don't wait. Go to the Rhino.com and schedule services today. The Rhino, hitting home runs all day. Hear that? The relaxing sound of ambient music in a yoga class. And if you were here, you'd listen to 15 people taking a deep breath in sync. But you're not here. Because your self-care happens out on the road, riding your motorcycle protected by Progressive. So if you ride, get a quote today and see if you could save with Progressive, America's number one motorcycle insurer, and find inner peace with a different post called Palms on Handlebars. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates not available in all states. Hi, this is Earl Ron. I'm the president of New South Windows Solutions. What I like people to understand about our company is what's unique about us. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. We go out of our way to make it easy. Going on now. Save 35% off factory direct windows and doors. Visit New South Windows. Window.com. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. For the best live thoroughbred horse racing action, you don't have to go far. Right here in our backyard at Tampa Bay Downs. Free on Wednesdays, $3 only on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. They've got tip sheets for the inexperienced better, so check them out. The best racing around, TampaBayDowns.com. Sponsored by Howard Team HomeLoans.com. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Pat and Aaron Show, 95.3 WDA and AM620. Matt Matera, Pewter Report. Make sure you check him out, pewterreport.com. And at Maddie, the number four underscore Matera, wrote a very interesting article. Article, article. I like a good article every now and then. I love articles. Uh, you check it out, pewterreport.com. On what the most surprising draft pick the Bucks could make, you can check that out once again, pewterreport.com. Joining us now, Matt Matera. What's up, Matt? How you doing, man? Long time, no talk. Yeah, it's been a little bit. I'm doing very well. Happy to be on with you guys. How are you doing? We're doing great, and you know we get very excited as you do. We get giddy as we get closer to the NFL draft, and we start to get all these mock drafts together and speculate where your team could go, where the Buccaneers could go late in the first round with their draft pick. And then a lot of times by the time we get to that pick late in the first round, you can just like kind of cross everybody off because most people are gone and we're all wrong. Yeah, that's sometimes how it goes. I mean, you try to pinpoint the exact needs that the Bucks need or whatever team you're covering, um, you know, around the NFL. And sometimes just certain people make sense. And, and you talk to different personnel, people in the organization, you can kind of really gather your thoughts and make a hypothesis or even more of an educated guess. And this year for the Bucs, it, it really seems like there's a couple of positions that um, it's going to be the way that they go for the first round. 
Yeah, and it's, I think that uh, at least you know a lot of us are assuming that could be outside linebacker or cornerback now since the trade of Carlton Davis. Uh, I'm curious which for you, you know, and obviously that doesn't mean it's going to be the first round pick, right? Because it's got to be some convergence of need and best player available. It may not be either one, but it's somewhere in the middle, right? In your opinion, which one of those, though, is the bigger need going into this draft? Good question, because I actually think that interior offensive line would be a little bit more of a priority than um, either of those. But if you're asking between the two, uh, I'm still going to say outside linebacker. I understand they just signed Randy Gregory, but let's also remember Randy Gregory is just a one-year deal. Anthony Nelson is on the last year of his contract, and that's the same with Joe Tryon Shoyanka. So. The, the key is when you have a first-round pick, ideally you want that player to hit the field and, and be an impact player almost right away, where if you draft an outside linebacker this season, it may not necessarily be the case because of the other guys that I, I just mentioned. But with that said, a premier pass rusher is one of the most important things that you can find in the NFL. So yeah. if the Bucks have a guy that they really like, that fall, like you guys said, kind of need versus, um, you know, best available. Like if somehow Jared Verse of Florida State is is still there when the Bucks are on the clock, I don't see how they turn down that opportunity. So I would say outside linebacker. I'm curious when you say you think it could be interior offensive line that is the biggest need. Do you view Sua Opeta as a guy that's going to start for this team? Do you think both of those, the guard and the center position, are in play? Or do you think Opeta might be a starter or is a starter and you just still think center is that huge of a need? Yeah, I think Opeta is an upgrade over Aaron Stinney, who is in there, and Matt Filer, but I don't think he should be penciled in as the starter. I do think – I like Robert Hainsey as a backup center. I don't love him as a starting center. So um, I, I think the Bucks have to fill one of those spots, whether it's either center or left guard early on um, in this draft. You can kind of do either or because Ben Bredesen, who they also signed, play for the Giants last year, he could play a little bit of center. So if you have a guy, we've talked about him a lot on the Peter Report podcast, is Jackson Powers Johnson, who is a center over at Oregon. He's a guy that you can just plug and play right away, and that's an immediate upgrade for the Buccaneers. Another interior offensive lineman we've talked about a lot is Graham Barton, who played at Duke. And we've gotten word that – some people think that he could be the next Ali Marpet, which I know Bucks fans would obviously love to hear. So if, if you find a player like that, you could start him at guard and have Bredesen go to center. Or in the case of Jackson Paris Johnson, bam, you throw him in at center. Then Robert Hainsey's in competition for starting left guard, which may suit him um, just a little bit more. So I, I still think it's kind of uh, – it's all it's all fluid. It's all in rotation right now, but Opeta certainly in the mix. Matt Matera joining us right now, pewterreport.com. Matt, you know, Baker Mayfield, big offseason, re-signing, three years, $100 million. Mike Evans, re-signing, huge. I found it very interesting, the points you made for why the Buccaneers could be targeting a quarterback in this draft. Uh, I think uh, I think it's something um, I agree. I think it's a, a smart. I think it's personally a smart move to do it because you don't know what you're going to get with Baker Mayfield moving forward. It was one good year. Why do you think the Buccaneers could be entertaining taking a quarterback, and where do you think they'll do it? Yeah, it was based off of uh, an article on CBS Sports where the Bucks were named as like a dark horse team or a surprise team that would draft the quarterback early. But when you think about it more and kind of the history of teams drafting quarterbacks. It's either, you know, teams last year like the Panthers and the Texans where you know they're drafting a quarterback, they have nobody else, they're going quarterback and they're going to throw them into the fire right away. And, you know, sometimes you get what Bryce Young did as a rookie, other times you get what C.J. Stroud did as a rookie. When you look in recent years, even going back to when the Chiefs drafted Patrick Mahomes, like they had Alex Smith as a starter. They traded up to get Patrick Mahomes. Alex Smith, obviously, you would always take Patrick Mahomes, but Alex Smith at the time was winning the division for the Chiefs. Like they were a solid team, and Mahomes sat for a year. The, the Obviously, the more reasonable one as of late was the Packers with drafting Jordan Love, even though you had Aaron Rodgers and they drafted Love, and Rodgers won the MVP the next two seasons. But 
They had a plan in place, and I think that's the biggest thing for the Buccaneers. Um, if they weren't going to draft a quarterback this year, uh, it, it would probably still be in a later round, which doesn't necessarily fit the mold of like finding a quarterback of the future. But the thing is, yes, it's a three-year deal for Baker Mayfield. They can get out after two years because a lot of that money is kind of front-loaded with $50 million guaranteed. So, yes, they got Baker, but they can kind of pull the plug on it if it doesn't work as well. So it'll be interesting to see if they go with a quarterback – Kind of earlier, maybe Michael Pratt from Tulane, who has a lot of experience uh, in college football and beat Caleb Williams two seasons ago. If they go with a quarterback later on in this draft, um, a lot of signs point to Devin Leary out of Kentucky, given his affiliation and uh, relationship with new box offensive coordinator Liam Cohen, who obviously coached Leary at Kentucky. So two guys we know they won't be pulling the plug on anytime soon are Antoine Winfield Jr. and Tristan Wirfs. First of all, uh, how likely is it, do you think, by the time we roll up to the draft or shortly thereafter that we're talking about both of these guys having brand new deals? And uh, second half of that question, uh, what are the chances, uh, in your opinion, that Julius Wirfs is already stronger than uh, Aaron and I both? <laughs> I would throw me in there as well. He's probably <laughs> stronger than the three of us combined. And congratulations to to Tristan on the new addition to his family. I don't necessarily know if these deals are going to get done by the draft. Um, I, I think the Bucks, as we've seen, they're willing to take their time with these situations. But you can always trust general manager Jason Light. We have to remember this is the same front office that didn't allow Baker Mayfield or Mike Evans to – hit free agency at all uh, to put a timeline on it. I, I think is a little bit too soon, especially with the draft coming at the end of the month. But I, I would say by the summer, you would see new contracts for both of these players and they're both extremely deserving of it. You can see all the great stuff from Matt Matera, but everyone at Pewter Report, just check them out. PewterReport.com. Matt, great catching up with you and let's do it again, either before the draft or right after it. Absolutely. Anytime, guys. Thank you so much for having me on. Thanks, Matt. There you have it. Matt Matera once again. Uh, Matty for the number four underscore Matera to check out his work on social media. A lot of great artles over there on uh, Peter Report. You know what? They have great artles. Uh, their artles are a hit. Let me tell you what else is a hit. Every hit is a win at Suncoast. And when I talk about a hit, I'm talking about a baseball hit on the diamond. Nice win for the Rays yesterday. And for the second year, it's back, baby. They had so much success last year of giving back to the community and everyone getting involved. And it's all thanks to you for participating. And they don't ask you for money at Suncoast. They take care of that. All they ask is for your vote. It's very easy. You go to suncoast.com slash Rays to vote each month. You're voting for local nonprofits. There's two every month. Pat's getting behind one. I'm getting behind one. The vote percentage for each... Uh, organization that's your vote that's going to determine how much donation will be going to these organizations and how they divvy it up and how it works is every time a raised player gets a hit during a game suncoast credit union donates 90 dollars in honor of their 90th anniversary they collect those donations throughout the month and they'll donate up to ten thousand dollars per month to local nonprofit organizations i'm getting behind zoo tampa this month they are a champion for wildlife i went there recently i love what they're doing over there they're dedicated as you can see when you go there to the conservation of endangered and threatened species, especially their manatee critical care, one of the best in the world. So check them out, but please vote for them at suncoast.com slash raise. Already up to $4,500 on the month, so the Rays uh, doing their part so far, but Suncoast C Credit Union, they love doing their part. That's what we love about Suncoast Credit Union is obviously it's a great credit union for you to uh, put your money in and for you to make money at, right? But at the same time, we love their dedication to our community, and that's why we love working with them every baseball season. I also love the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. I've been telling the story when Heidi and I were uh, pretty broke. We had one of our dogs neutered there and, and we were able to afford it thanks to the great work that the Humane Society of Tampa does. They do that for a lot of people. They do great work for animals locally as does Zoo Tampa. So two great charities for you to vote for. Just go to Suncoast Credit Union. Uh, I'm sorry, just suncoast.com slash raise. On the, on the other side, time for a little start, sit, cut with Casey Warner. That's next. WDAE. Traffic update. 
Serious wreck on westbound I-4 near 301 and Hillsboro Avenue right there near the Hard Rock. Right in center lanes blocked here. Traffic already jammed up from before I-75. And we're seeing delays on north and southbound I-75 approaching I-4. Southbound 275, it's slow between Fowler Avenue and Hillsboro. And a crash investigation on southbound 40th Street near River Hills. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by eBay Motors eBay Motors is here for the ride with the parts you need at the prices you want. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they're guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Trade-a-thon is always one of Brandon Ford's most popular sales events. So Trade-a-thon 2024 is going, going to be, be unbelievable. unbelievable. Going to be unbelievable. You want to get rid of all those toys you don't want anymore? Cars, trucks, boats, campers, motorcycles. We don't care if you have to tow it in or push it that last mile. But you don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. You don't need to trade anything to get our Trade-a-thon deals. Like gorgeous new 2024 F-150 Crew Cab STXs with the black appearance package, huge 12-inch touchscreen, and premium 20-inch wheels and a custom spray and bed liner for just $44,900. For just $44,900. We have a hundred of these trucks. Or get 1.9% for 72 months on new 2023 F-150s. Please note, during the sale, every customer qualifies for the branded Ford price. And no other Ford dealer in this part of the country can beat that price. No hidden fees during trade 2024 at Brandon Ford, the largest volume Ford truck dealer in America. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. After more than four decades in the diamond business, International Diamond Center owner Keith LeClaire knows a thing or two about diamonds. And a big concern he has right now is the influx of man-made or lab-grown diamonds being sold at retail stores all over. Keith says these diamonds may look like the real thing, but they're being mass-produced and are losing value by the day. So why would you put your money in something that devalues faster than food you eat? Keith says they may look nice, but you can grossly overpay. For example, a man-made two-carat diamond and cost next to nothing to produce. A two-carat lab-grown diamond will cost $320 today. But you'll see it in a store showcased with an insane markup. They're selling it for probably $2,000 to $8,000. Two years ago, it was in the $12,000 range, and today, you're talking about a $320 diamond? Come on. Your mama didn't bring you up that way. If you're considering buying a lab-grown or machine-made diamond, get the facts before you write that check. International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Starting Monday, WDAE wants to put a grand in your hand. Nine chances every weekday to win $1,000. Just listen for the nationwide keyword to enter at 953WDAE.com. This report is sponsored by True Green. True Green is the easiest and most affordable way to get a beautiful lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan by April 20th, you get one application free. Call or visit TrueGreen.com today. Restrictions apply. We're going to see some sun this morning, but the clouds going to roll in. We have about an 80% chance of showers today. It's going to be breezy at times as well. Our high right around 80 Overnight, partly cloudy. It's going to be cooler at 63. Tomorrow, nothing but sun and good news. Humidity, not really there. Our high right around 77. Ready? Sports talk for you and the next generation. Jay and Zach. Coming up at noon. Now, back to the Pat and Aaron Show on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Time to put your coaching caps on. Choice is yours. The rules of the game are simple. Do you start, start them? them? Yep, you start me up. Do, 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 do you 
sit there. Sit down, you old son of a bitch. Do you cut them? Cut it out. Cut it. Start, sit, cut is on the Pat and Aaron Show. Time for start, sit, cut. Casey Warner, the keeper of the starts, the sits, and the cuts. What do you got for us today? And by the way, Casey will give us some options, and we have to tell you if we're going to start them, we're going to sit them, or we're going to cut them. That's right. Let's get it going here. First one, very timely with the Masters beginning today. Now, this is courtesy of the Hard Rock Bet app. These are the next three favorites under Scotty Scheffler, according to the app. John Rahm, Xander Shoffley, Rory McIlroy. Who you got? I can't trust Rory McIlroy to get it done. It's been so long since he's actually been able to come through in the big moments in a major. So I, I can't believe it, but one of the top players in the world, I'm cutting him. I'm going to start Scotty Scheffler. Or sorry, he's not on here. Uh, uh, Shoffley. Sorry, Shoffley. Uh, Shoffley. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not even going to start Shoffley. I'm starting John Rom. I'm starting figured. John Rom. He won the Masters last year. By the way, Scheffler, his wife could go into labor this weekend, and he's already said that if his wife goes into labor, he's leaving the Masters. So that's a little. Who's that? Scotty Scheffler, the number one player in the world. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I just want to let people know that be careful betting on him, even though he's the favorite, and a lot of people want to bet on him. He's already said he could leave. I think it's smokescreen. I uh, feel like that should. Cancel the bet. I don't. I'm not saying it would, but it should. Not if we know about it ahead of time. It's like, hey, you're going to risk it. You risk it. I'm going to start John Rahm, winner last year. We don't get to see a lot of him. At least I don't. I don't watch live golf, so who knows? Um, but John Rahm is so good. I'm starting him. Sitting Shoffley. Shoffley's been playing well. I'm going to cut Rory. I'm going to start Xander Shoffley because how many guys have won back to back Masters? Tiger. I'm asking because I don't know. Tiger did it. I imagine it's not many. Not many. So just for that reason alone, I'll I'll start Shoffley because I don't think Rom's gonna. I know how good Rom is. No, but it's a good point. The numbers go uh, with the average. Yeah, I don't think he'll do it twice in a row. I'll sit Rory for the exact same reason, uh, and because Tiger said it's gonna happen sooner or later. Um, and then uh, I'll cut Rom just because of the law of averages. I doubt he does it two years in a row. This just in. We got breaking news. Oh, I like the it. The first round at Augusta National will now begin at 10.30 a.m. Oh, Eastern time. Oh, you've ruined Aaron's morning. Well, no, you, I times felt, have been adjusted. I felt bad because I was like, I'm glad. I freaked out. I don't know if you saw my panic on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. Forgot to put the bet in. I always do this. You got more time now? I've got more time. I always do this. I'm like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait just in case. I might like something else. Go with your gut, kid. Just pull the trigger. Oh, my gosh. I'm such a... What? <laughs> All right, perfect. So we got more time for a bet. And you Are you going to be a pain time. at lunch because you're going to want to watch uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. the Masters? I'm not going to be a pain, but we'll I'm going to have it TVs on. TVs in front of us. Come on. Yeah, I'm not going to be a pain. Hopefully. I'm just going to watch it. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving on. Next topic here. We got the Stanley Cup playoffs in the near future here. Who do you want to most play in the playoffs if you're the Lightning? Bruins, Panthers, Maple Leafs. I know we all hate the Florida Panthers, right? Everyone hates the stinking Panthers. But I said this, uh, I don't remember, to somebody the other day. It was on the air, but we were talking the other day. And I, I was saying, for some reason, there's nothing I love more every every year when the playoffs coming around than sharing the meme of the bear shaving his beard. I would love to see the Bruins and beat the Bruins in the first round. Um, I will. I will sit the Maple Leafs, and I'll sit the Panthers and I'll cut the Maple Leafs, but I want to beat all these SOBs. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's, it's really tough because they're all very tough competitors. I'm going to start the Leafs because they struggle in the playoffs. And mm -hmm. even though the Leafs got the best of the Lightning as a most recent history in the playoffs, the Lightning have, for the most part, had their number, as do most teams in the playoffs. I'm going to start the Leafs I'm going to sit the Bruins. They're not the same team as last year. They're certainly dangerous, but they're not the same. The Panthers scare me. They just do. That's a very deep Panthers team we're talking about here. Just so consistent all around. So many contributors uh, to that team. So I'm going to cut them because I don't want to play them. You're going the nervous route. Mm -hmm. Always. All right. Sticking with the Lightning here. The Lightning team MVP other than Nikita Kucherov. Brandon Hagel. Braden Point, Steven Stamkos. Braden Point is the starter because he is just so electric, and if Cooch wasn't on this team, we would all see why Braden Point's the MVP of this team. Steven Stamkos, what a year he's been having. I'm going to sit him because he's just he's going to have 40 goals on this season. He's one away. Uh, he could get it tonight, 7 o'clock puck drop. And then I'm going to cut Hagel, which is crazy because Hagel's been such a key contributor as well. I mean, it's, it's crazy to have to cut any of them, and it's almost crazy to sit Steven Stamkos, but that's what... You have to do because Braden 
Braden Point is so crucial. I almost said Braden Coburn. Braden Point is so crucial to this team. And we saw it when they lost the Stanley Cup a few years ago to Colorado. We saw what they missed without him being in that lineup. The inability to get the puck up and down the ice. The way he was able to you know, get through defenses. And remember how much they clogged up the middle of the ice and didn't allow the Lightning to do anything. You need that guy, man. So I'm going to start. I'm with you. I'm going to start Braden Point. I'll sit, it's crazy. I'll sit the captain and I'll cut Brandon Hagel. All right, all right. This next one I'm pretty passionate about. I had a pretty terrible experience with Uh-oh. my belo- used to be beloved Papa John's. Papa Careful John's, now. yeah, originated in Louisville, Kentucky. Used to be a tradition of my family's. Always getting it on the weekends. I got a Papa John's pizza a couple weeks ago, and it was not good. Just flat out, just not good. So I won't be ordering from Papa John's anymore. But I'm interested to hear your all thoughts. Chain pizza, Papa John's, Domino's Pizza Hut. I'm actually going to start Papa John's. I, lo- I love the pizza. Casey, let's uh, hold off here for a little bit. Let me just get these in here. Uh, <laughs> Papa John's. Uh, I, I love the, I actually like the pizza of Papa John's. Pizza Hut, I'm more of a breadsticks fan. I yeah. really like the breadsticks of Pizza Hut, and then I will cut Domino's. I will, uh, I will start. Uh, this is a really tough one for me, actually. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start Domino's. Just because they're right across the street from us uh, and there's a new one like right across the street from us on Fowler and it's been like, you know, I don't eat it a lot right now with the weight loss plan, but it's been a godsend sometimes late at night, pop right over there. They've got better food than I remembered from eating there in the years past. And I'm like, oh, oh, I really like Domino. I'm going to start Domino's for that reason. I will sit uh, Pizza Hut. I love a good meat lovers. I worked there when I was a kid. My last day, I made a nice little chocolate chip pizza for someone. (laughs) Um Weird. And, and it, yeah, they didn't know. They didn't know I did it, but I did it. Um, and then I will cut. You're a weird I guy. I will cut Papa John's, although I do like them a lot as well. Like you, you're tying your head. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. You just say Pizza Hut. Mm-hmm. Love their meat lovers. Dude, it's delicious. Last day I worked there. True. Made a chocolate chip <laughs> pie. Yeah. It was chocolate chip cookie, actually. Oh, all right. I feel like Pat could write like a five chapter, six, maybe even ten chapter book on oh, his no, experiences no, no, no. delivering on. pizza. Oh, like. right. But what he said was so random and so harm. Like it doesn't add anything. Yeah, okay, good for you. You made a chocolate chip pizza your last thing. Chocolate chip cookie pizza. They have those. No, 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 they didn't no. Know like I then. put chocolate chip cookies underneath. Uh, the cheese oh, on a real pizza. That is, that is like disgusting. We, it was like the last order of the night. We were a couple of us were leaving, and we were like, "This will be funny." See uh, that Casey? Were you like me? In my mind, I thought he meant like a the dessert pizzas they have, the chocolate chip pizza. I didn't know they have that. Yeah, they yeah. have those. those yeah, they good. have those. Yeah. Put them in the microwave I for a little try bit. One. Zap them up. Get them a little, a little gooey <laughs> on the inside. Mm. Mm. So that starts it. Cut. Good stuff, Casey Warner. On the other side, uh, Casey Hudson's going to join us in the eight o'clock hour, about eight ten, eight fifteen. Casey will join us. But on the other side, we'll get into the latest that report on the Masters. If you missed it, there is an update from the Masters, and they haven't even started yet. That's not good. We'll get to that on the other side and the Rays week ahead. It's the Pat and Aaron Show. The Player of the Night. Presented by Rivard Buick GMC. It was National Sibling Day yesterday. And how about Bo and Josh Naylor for the Guardians playing hero as Cleveland beats the White Sox 7-6 in the 10th inning. The brothers both had RBIs to help win that game, making not one but two Naylors. Bo and Josh, your Rivard Buick GMC players of the night. Rivard Buick GMC, no games, no gimmicks, no hidden fees. Check out that inventory at RivardBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. I'm Zach Blobner, and this is 95.3. To be the AE and AM six twenty. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hey guys, T. Kraz here from my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader and the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. It's called regenerative medicine, guys. So if you're tired of those achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love doing, you got to call my guys over at QC Kinetics. I did. They fixed my elbow. They fixed my knee. They can do the same for you. No surgery, no steroids, no drugs. They are a thing of the past. Regenerative medicine is where it's at, and they can deliver lasting results. They can use your own body's biologics to restore and repair damaged joint tissue, and that's what QC Kinetics will do. So get your life back, guys. Call them. QC Kinetics. Get a free consultation. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you going again with no downtime. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics, located 
locations in Bradenton, Lakeland, St. Pete, and Brandon. Tell them your boy T-Crash sent you. What's the Anajar and Levine difference? When you're injured in a car crash, we focus on your case so you can focus on the one thing that matters most, getting better. I'm Glenn Levine with Anajar and Levine. We'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call our legal team right now for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. We'll help you take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. Hi, this is Kevin Harlan. I know being a champion means you're a leader in your field and you always rise above your competition. That's why when summer temperatures get extreme, our home has a champion air conditioning system that keeps my family comfortable and cool. Get peak performance in your home by finding a local champion dealer at championhomecomfort.com. Ask about our special financing options with rates as low as 0% and our factory-backed extended parts and labor warranty. Always leading, never compromising, championhomecomfort.com. Hey, it's Sean Kelly, voice of the Gators for my friends at International Diamond Center. IDC is Florida's family-owned jeweler with worldwide connections. IDC delivers exceptional value, mind-blowing selection, uncompromising quality, ironclad warranties. IDC has showrooms all over Gator Country, Gainesville, Orlando, Tampa, Clearwater, Sarasota, Naples, and on the Treasure Coast. The vibe at IDC is relaxed and fun. Their non-commissioned experts will guide you every step of the way, and nobody can touch their incredible value prices. Of course, IDC's specialty is diamonds. Real, rare, precious GIA-certified diamonds in every shape and size imaginable. It's a massive selection at no middleman, direct importer prices. So when it comes to those special moments in your life, celebrate with the only jeweler endorsed by the Gators, International Diamond Center, where Gator Nation shops for jewelry. Get store locations, hours, and learn more. ShopIDC.com. Some things in life you can just rely on, like the comfy fit of a favorite pair of jeans and the tried-and-true performance of a new AC system from Rude. So here's to reliability, built into everything we do. Rely on Rude. Get reliable cooling and comfort installed by a certified Rude Pro Partner. Go to RudeACFlorida.com to schedule service with a Rude Pro Partner today. That's RudeACFlorida.com. Powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free, free. never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Revard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Revard Buick GMC, the number two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Revard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC, we are professional grade. <laughs> Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The reigning, defending, and undisputed home of Tampa Bay Sports Talk for over 20 years. We are 95.3 FM W237CW Pendellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224BE Brent. And the, and the mighty, mighty 620, 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, hey, hey Tampa, Tampa Bay. Bay. Free has never sounded so good. Follow WDAE on social. Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Now, back to the Pat and Aaron Show on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Hour number three of the Pat and Aaron Show, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Casey Hudson will be with us in just a little bit. She had some stuff going on this morning, so she had to come in just a little bit later. But she'll be here to, don't worry, we will be cooking. We will be cooking in Casey's kitchen later on today. Talk some, well, later on this hour, talk some lightning hockey. Uh, unlike... Um, the Masters, which was supposed to be underway just moments ago, 
but instead has been delayed until 1030 because of weather. And Aaron, I don't know about you, uh, but based on reports of the weather, I won't be surprised if we get another report at 1030 about later today or worse. And <laughs> excuse me. The yes. The yes. drowning azaleas. The azaleas are drowning. <laughs> They're dying from water. The 88th Masters is not starting right now. But hopefully, and by the way, the rest of the weekend looks fantastic. It's supposed to be very warm, which is good for Tiger Woods, who we talked about earlier, just trying to make the cut this weekend. Seeing um, Saturday and Sunday, the forecast looks awesome. But... Man, that's got to suck if you call out of work today. And I know there are some people that are like, I'm going to watch the first day of the Masters. I might watch the that first two suck. days of the Masters using a vacation day and you're at home and you're watching the sloppy Augusta course and no one is on it and won't be for a couple hours. 10 Would you take a day off for the Masters? I don't take a day off for any well, sporting Well, yeah, yeah not you. You're, we're out of here at 9 a.m., dude. Like, yeah, yeah, we could go watch the Masters today. Even if it started at 8 a.m., we could see the vast majority of it. If you're a lot of people work 9 to 5 or somewhere. You can you get know. it on your phone now. I mean, like, I, for instance, in school, right? Like, I was always doing something else besides my schoolwork. I assume because that's Because you what, were in school. A I lot of people, when they're at work, are doing their jobs. I assume most aren't. There, Listen, there are jobs where, like, if you have a desk job where you can sneak the little thing on the back of the screen or whatever it is, like, you can find a way to watch stuff while you're working. There are other jobs where you are so physically involved in your work, like, even just being an auto mechanic, Right. Like, maybe you have it on the radio. Maybe you got a TV in there that you can pick up every, every now and then, but you're under the car. You're in the hood. You're doing whatever. You're, like, you're doing stuff that you and I can never understand. I feel like desk job people, though, and you're right. There's some that you, you're you busy all day. I feel like there are a lot of desk job people that half of their day, they're probably not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It just depends. Like, I think. Do, do you got to remember, now? we're in 2024, dog. Technology is a son of a bitch if you want it to be. He's, there, there are companies now that will. You've got to be logged into their technology to be working, and they can, they can, uh, they can count your key, your keystrokes and that sort of thing. Like they can know whether or not you are actively working. I don't think those while you're supposed to be working. I don't think those people care though. There's always a way around it. Coming from a veteran um, online class taker in his last year and a half of COVID college, <laughs> there's always a way around the uh, the lockdown browser. I'll tell you that. Like last week, I wa- I was walking on the floor here. And everyone's very good here at iHeart, so I'm not calling anyone out. Yeah. But like, I saw someone who was looking up houses during the day. Like, it's the middle of the day, yeah. and they're looking for houses on Zillow. But sales is a very different job, right? You can kind of make, not really make your own schedule, but sometimes you're out of the office. You're in face-to-face meetings. You're, you know, you're doing, like, there's a lot of things that are involved where it's very, it's kind of loose. There are a lot of jobs where it's like, you have a specific task and you need to accomplish it within a certain amount of time. And if you're dicking around, sorry, Bob, you're not going to get it done. That person I just said, that person's watching the Masters today. I have no doubt they'll be sitting at their desk here. That specific person. Yeah, oh yeah. Good for him. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Or, 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 or whoever yeah. it might be. She might be watching the Masters. Who knows? Uh, I know they are because that person gave me a Masters pick. I'm asking for all Masters pick. I don't <laughs> listen. I'm not your boss. I don't care if you're doing work or not. Um, I like that you called them they, though. That's very progressive. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> uh, on the text line, Aaron, just because you don't do your job while you're at work doesn't mean the rest of us don't. No, no, no. This sounds crazy. But this is our job. It's easy. It's our job. I feel bad to say it because for some people I know it's, it wouldn't come easy. Like it, our job for what we do for our skill set is easy. Like there are some people's jobs who it's not easy. There are some people yeah, who most don't. Most people's jobs mo- yeah, compared right. to ours. Whether it's physical or me- like it, the toll it takes to get the job done and be successful. Here we're just talking and then hoping that you're listening. This is why I'm so uncomfortable when people are like, hey, thank you for what you do. I'm like, do you know what I do? Oh, I say you're welcome. Do you know what I do? You really? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm like baffled by it. I'm like, you realize there are people all around us who we should be thanking for what they do. You know, my, 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 our, my, I had an appearance not long ago. Casey came out. You were busy that night. But uh, this place, the great place, Eddie's, right? And one of the guys there, he was a, a foster parent and he did only medical fosters. So, like, kids that were, like, they didn't have a lot longer left. This is who we foster. Like, I'm like, 
These are the people we should be thanking. There are people doing heroic stuff every day. We sit here and, like, talk about nonsense, fart jokes and golf, and people, I don't know why, don't thank us. We threw a prize off my balcony during COVID <laughs> to a listener. That's heroic. That was pretty heroic. That was heroic. That was heroic. But we'll see today, 10.30 a.m. If you're just joining us, the Masters was supposed to set at, uh, start at 8 o'clock with the first tee times, but first round officially beginning at 10.30 a.m. So people aren't even allowed in the gates right now. They're not opening the gates until oh. 9.30. People must be freaking out. What are you out. doing? What are you doing? You've probably already parked. It's probably a pain in the ass to try to get out of the parking lot. Like, what are you doing? You're just sitting there like, oh. The per this is why I love uh, iHeart. The person who I just called out, not by name, but for looking at Zillow, j just texted me. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. They, which makes it. me great. It's why I love them, and I knew I could. I knew they listened to the show. Right. Like, they're fans of the Pat and Aaron like show. Like Johnny Bravo. Yeah, and that, <laughs> that's right. That's why I trust those guys. Trust those guys. I couldn't believe you it. told them to go full Bravo. Yeah, that's right. Never go full Bravo. That's, uh, what, I, that's what I've heard. So... For you betters out there, just want to make sure everyone knows, be very careful. I mentioned it earlier. Scotty Scheffler, if his wife goes into labor, he'll be leaving Augusta and he will be joining his wife to make sure he is there for the delivery of their baby. So you just got to be careful with the odds on favorite, a guy who has been so dominant and is playing the best ball golf in the world right now, greatest ball striker maybe I've ever seen. He is. Uh, he might not make it through the Masters and it's not because of his play. If I'm that baby... If I'm that baby, I'm like, Dad, what the hell? Play the golf tournament, okay? And then come stick your winnings in my piggy bank. Stick I'll see yeah. you when I'm four or five days old, whatever it is. Like, relax, dude. Play the golf tournament. Put some money in my piggy bank and don't worry about I'm it. I'm surprised his wife wouldn't do that either. It's like, I'll be fine. I'll make it. No, I, I, I say that very much kiddingly. Obviously, I don't have children. Uh, I kind, To be 100% honest, kind of wish we had. Uh, and the opportunity to be there for that, like, yeah, I'd give up, I'd give up, well, not me millions of dollars because I don't have them, but if I was him, yeah, I'd probably do it. Now, believe me, I know I'm probably the only person in the world that thinks this, so call me a bad There's person. There's a lot of things I think you could say like that. Yeah, so call me what you want, but. Really? What if. Like on the air? <laughs> well, only if you're allowed to, FCC. <laughs> what if Scotty Scheffler wanted the storyline, and he's like, what if his wife's not actually do for like two more weeks. And what if he just puts How it out there? How much of a win is that? It's it, it's a win in like the world of, of media of like, this guy's such a good dad. He could leave. Have either of us said that? Like I, I just I said, I it. would, I just said I would probably do the same thing if I had his money. But at the same time, like, I don't think this makes you a hero. This isn't like, oh, wow, look at him. Nick from Sarasota. He's right. Fade the baby. You got to bet fade the baby. <laughs> fade bet the baby. And, and here's the thing. This is the problem with betting on Scotty Scheffler. I feel like I'm doing a side bet with his wife going into labor. Like, I'm if I'm betting on Scotty Scheffler, I'm also doing a side bet that Scotty Scheffler's wife will not go into labor this weekend. That's what you're doing. It is can you make that bet? No, but like it, it, it's a in my head. That's what it is. It's like, hey, you're betting. Oh, oh okay. That, I thought you meant an actual additional bet. No, it, I just kind of placed it I as a, I phrased it as a side bet. But you're if you're making the bet for Scotty Scheffler, you're also gambling on the fact that the wife will not go into labor this weekend. Which I don't know labor. I don't know bellies don't know and labor. babies. I don't know how this thing works and, I, and tubes and stuff. I think Vegas should change the odds. Considering he may leave, give us better odds. Wouldn't that be fair? Yes. And, well, the Vegas odds will go based on who's betting him. So if people are betting for Scotty Scheffler. They never change not... based on circumstance? It's just better, It's just on where the money's coming in? Um, That's a good question. So, like, let's say somebody comes up injured, right? We find out a quarterback isn't starting on Sunday. None of the money's moved yet, but Vegas knows that guy's sitting. They don't change the odds? But that's injury compared to, like, something happening with someone else. Right. Like, his wife would have to go into labor. Not It has nothing to do with physically with Scotty Scheffler. It has everything to do with somebody else physically. What if a guy's question, like, regardless of who it involves, right, it's whether or not the guy's going to play. If a guy is questionable to play, does that change the odds on if he's not hurt at it's, all? It's a really good question. This, we, need, we need an expert. Where's our dude? This Hard Rock app. Oh, my God. They're trying to bait me. Do it. They're doing, you know how sometimes they'll put like uh, options, like things that they think you could take, they'll boost the boost. Tiger Woods to score birdie or better on the first hole, plus 750. They mm, want us to bet right away. I wouldn't do that. Of course I'm not going to do that. 
Tiger Woods out of the gate. That's hard to come out of the gate with those nerves for anybody. Well, listen, I think we could, it's, it might be easier to bet on Tiger early in the tournament than later in the tournament. He's going to be at his best physically when the tournament begins. I just put five bucks on it. <laughs> you schmuck. I right. said I, I'm still sitting on zero. I got to put more money in my app. I just haven't done it. Come on, man. Step up. I know. Where are you at, Casey Warner? Slacking. Does he even have the app? Uh, he's on the phone right yeah, now. He's talking to Todd, 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 Todd. Maybe we'll talk to Todd, 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 Todd on the other side. We'll be talking to Casey Hudson very soon. She'll be with us uh, here in just a little bit. More on the Rays as well. They won their second consecutive road series yesterday. We'll get into that on the other side on the Pat and Aaron Show on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. WDAE. Traffic update. A wreck on westbound I-4 near 301 and Hillsboro Avenue. Two right lanes are blocked here. Traffic jammed up from before I-75. It's also affecting traffic on north and southbound 75, attempting to exit onto westbound I-4. Delays in Pinellas County, southbound US-19, approaching that exit for 66th Street due to a crash. One on westbound Fletcher Avenue, just west of North Boulevard at Rome Avenue. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Hey guys, Chef Justin with Fresh from Florida here, reminding you that from blueberry pancakes to blueberry smoothies, almost everything is better with Florida blueberries. In season now, look for Fresh from Florida blueberries at your local grocery store. Think you have to travel to New York or Los Angeles to get a deal on a five-carat colorless diamond in a -a one-of-a-kind designer setting? What if I told you people from those cities came here for these exquisite pieces of jewelry? Here to International Diamond Center. Welcome to the IDC Prestige Collection, a truly breathtaking array of large, rare diamonds, two carats and up, hand-picked for maximum brilliance and certified by the GIA. In addition, International Diamond Center is one of only 14 dealers in the world offering De Beers Forevermark Exceptional Diamonds. Featuring magnificent diamonds, five carats and up, including the rarest and most exquisite diamonds on the planet. The IDC Prestige Collection and the Forevermark Exceptional Diamond Collection are for the discriminating shopper with refined taste and uncompromising standards. No need to travel or have it flown in from a broker. It's all here, every day. One of America's most impressive displays of large, rare diamonds, along with the most sought-after designer rings in the world. International Diamond Center, your direct diamond importer. Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. My wife and I both... Both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, better and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navaj difference yourself. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. For the best live thoroughbred horse racing action, you don't have to go far. Right here in our backyard at Tampa Bay Downs. Free on Wednesdays, $3 only on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. They've got tip sheets for the inexperienced better, so check them out. The best racing around, TampaBayDowns.com eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Lowe's knows pros need the right tools for every job. That's why we sell the largest in-store selection of Klein tools anywhere. Find new items like the self-leveling green laser level for just $159.98. Plus, shop the Connect pass-through socket set for $49.98, which you can only find at Lowe's. Shop Klein tools in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows tools. Lowe's knows pros. 
Bosch Tools is the proud sponsor of the seventh inning stretch during every Rays radio broadcast. Engineered for efficiency, comfort, and ease, Bosch Tools are built to keep workers feeling productive and off the injured list. Bosch Tools, what hard workers deserve. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. From the Cool Today Weather Center, CoolToday.com. We're going to see some sun this morning, but the clouds going to roll in. We have about an 80% chance of showers today. It's going to be breezy at times as well. Our high right around 80. Overnight, partly cloudy. It's going to be cooler at 63. Tomorrow, nothing but sun and good news. Humidity, not really there. Our high right around 77. This report is sponsored by Discover. As humans, we like having options. One option you might like is speaking with a real person when you call about your credit card. With 24-7 live U.S.-based customer service from Discover, everyone can talk to a real person anytime, day or night. Limitations apply. See terms at discover.com slash credit card. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Rays are off today. They'll be uh, relaxing before they get home tomorrow. Take on the San Francisco Giants. Of course, uh, they'll be in town for the weekend. We'll all be there on Sunday as the Rays uh, celebrate a special day as they uh, induct Dave Wills into the Rays Hall of Fame, which, of course, we all know the impact that he had as such an amazing broadcaster, but really uh, more of an impact around the Rays and around the community. We've heard so many things about some of the youth groups that he was involved in showing up from time to time at like Little League games and, and being the PA guy. I mean, just a guy that was um, always outstanding in just every single way. And I, I've talked about this before. I remember when I first started um, doing this job and my first job in, in media was covering the Rays. I was there two out of every three games for the most part for 2007 and 2008. And there are plenty of guys in this business who uh, don't treat you like you matter until they feel like you've been around long enough for them to start treating you well. Um, not, I mean, you know, there's not a ton, but there are guys who just, you know, they don't, they don't respect people right away for no reason. Uh, Dave Wills is the complete opposite. You know, one of my first days covering the team, I was in the going to just get lunch, and it was clear like not a lot of places to sit. And Dave immediately, like, saw that I was, like, the new dude with nowhere to sit, like, kind of looking around the room. And he was, like, got a spot over here, bud. And, like, just that's who Dave Wills was. Unbelievably nice to every single person he ever came in contact with. When we first started, we were doing weekends. And when I saw him, met him in person for the first time, I don't know if we had transitioned yet to weekdays, but was... I, you know, I get nervous sometimes. I don't want to bother anybody. I don't want to approach anybody, especially guys like that had been in the, I was a little younger, hadn't started, been in the business that long. So the guys like that are, you know, it's like they're larger than life in a, in a way. He came up to me and talked about the show and how he loved it. And that, you know, that is the side note, but it's more of like him coming to a guy who is way down the pecking order from where he's at, but taking the time where he did not have to do that to tell me, you know, uh, hey, it's, you know, give me kudos, but really just make that connection is what was important to me. Um, that is something, and there are guys that I take things from. Dave Wills is one of them. You're one of them. There's what? plenty of other guys that as far as the way you have to sometimes take a second. I know we all have a million things going on in our lives, but one of my biggest faults is sometimes I think I'm so self-consumed with what's going on in my own life. No. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm selfish because you know me. I care about other people. And if anyone's dealing with something, I want to make sure that they're not yeah. hurting. I want them. To, I want to help them if I can. But I am very wrapped up in what's going on in my life. So when other people... Not a lot of people are like that, dude. Yeah, but there are a lot of people that aren't. Um, and when a, Dave Wills, and, and he's just an example, but when, when they take the time to do something like that, when they did, don't have to do that, and that's just a small example on a large scale of what, what Dave did. Yeah. But... It makes you realize, wow, I got to. It makes you look in, inward and say, I, I, I should take some time to be invested in other people, not just what's going on in my life around my orbit. When the Rays rem remembered Dave Wills um, just after his passing, uh, every single person that worked at the station was there. 
uh, and every as far as I know, and as far as I know, every single person will be there on Sunday. And it's not that nobody has other things going on. It's just that's who Dave Wills was. You, you, he respected everybody so much that when it comes time to pay respect to him, every single one of us are like, well, how do I find a way to make sure I can be there? Uh, and that's what's going to happen on Sunday. And I'm sure it's what's going to happen for a lot of you on Sunday. I mean, we all love going to Rays games. We go as often as we can. Um, but uh, Sunday is one that I think all of us, uh, a lot of us, have made a particular point to say, I got to be there. And I know it's going to be a celebration of Dave because we've had the memorial. And I know uh, how sad everything that happened was last year, how abrupt it was. Uh, the timing was just terrible. It's yeah. never good timing, but especially for a guy who loves baseball and loves calling Rays games as much as Dave did, for that to happen right before the season was just terrible. But I know the Rays and I know the Wills family, this is going to be a celebration of Dave. Yeah. Yeah, I, I still remember where I was. I was here. I was I was coming in to do the Real Animals Fishing Show, and I got a, a text from Mamola about, like, I've got terrible news. And I'll be honest with you, I, I kind of rolled my eyes and thought, like, it's probably very minor. And unfortunately, it was it was the worst news. Uh, let's go to Todd and Land Lakes really quickly. He wants to jump in before the break. Todd, 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 Todd. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Um, I'm fantastic. How are you guys? We're well. Um, are you guys going to do a mock draft on air? No. For the NFL on draft? air? No. Well, like maybe top or, 10. Or, or, we get Nick Wise, we are. No. Okay. No. Well, I play a lot of Madden Fantasy, you know, franchise. Shocked. I, want, I, I got one for you real quick. And this is Good doable. Guy. Ready? Oh, I, hate, 26, I, I see this and I hate it. Go ahead. Our 26 pick. I know you're going to hate this, but Chris Godwin, because they're not going to resign him in the offseason, to move up to 20. And uh, Pittsburgh gives us their 20th. To 20? And we go up to Barton. Huh? To 20? You want to move up six? You want to give up Chris Godwin to move up six spots? No, no, no. In our, 20, in our 26th. Well, and they give us a third, but here's where I'm going with this. If we have, we'll have a top five offensive line, Baker Mayfield will have time to throw to any receiver. He'll make any receiver look that much better with that time. He's got a good quick release. Our running game will be improved. If we get Barton, he can plug and play, God forbid, if Worf goes down for a couple games. We will have a solidified old line for years to come. Bookmarks. And uh, yep. the other upside of that would be everything on the offensive side of the ball, we need to go offense. It's an offensive league. At all costs, you're moving up six spots. It's an offensive you league, and you, you want to give up one of the best receivers we have. And like, by the That's way, a really Luke, good question. Luke, Luke Gedeke was pretty good last year, man. Like, I, I to me, he's I, moved I, in the I, right I, direction. They have their left tackle and the right tackle that they're happy with. But Pat makes a really good point there. When you make when you make the argument that you need this an offensive lead, you need offense, but you're trading a, a guy who's produced for you oh. as a receiver. That that doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, I love you. That Tom, was option A. That was option A, but I was also going to mention that Detroit third round pick that we got for the trade for our cornerback, maybe get real sexy and creative and not give up any of our assets. But I, I at all costs, in my personal belief system, if this O line is solidified with studs for the next God knows how many years if they stay healthy. Look at all the difference in the world it's going to make for Baker Mayfield Nick and our in, weapons. Nick in Sarasota just texted in that um, that he would kick your ass in Madden, no questions asked. Wow. Yeah, so there's this. that. This is why I love Loud well, I'm, willing, I'm willing to put up a whole keg of beer against him. Yeah. All right, Todd, thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll work that game out. But we've, Not Casey, many people call in about Madden franchise yeah, well, mode, listen, man. I'm, That's awesome. Is it? I'm going to be honest yeah. with you. When you start suggesting moves you want to be you want to see in Major League Baseball or the NFL or anywhere else because of something you did in a video game, I feel like you immediately destroy your argument because like I did no no I'm really realistic man yeah you try I mean that's that's a little far all right you know that does not impress me when you uh, when, when you suggest trades that you did on Madden what does impress me is a company that stands behind their product. A company that's been around for the long haul and will be here for the long haul. Not just a company interested in making a buck. That's why Aaron and I love International Diamond Center. They have such confidence in what they do. For instance, did you know they have a 110% upgrade policy? What's that mean? That means when you want to upgrade your diamond, you get 110% back of your original purchase price to go towards that bigger diamond. So if you paid $6,000 for the first diamond... Maybe now you want to upgrade to an $8,000 diamond. IDC is going to give you $6,600 credit 
towards that new stone. So you're paying just $1,400 for the upgrade. You're getting an additional 10% back when you upgrade. They're paying you more for that diamond than you paid for it the first time. That is crazy. And on top of that, Pat, they give free service for life at International Diamond Center on any purchase. That means no charge ever for cleaning or sizing or routine maintenance. They take care of you because IDC is proud of their product. They stand behind it. So make sure you check them out. They've got their beautiful showrooms in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Plus, you can see out all the great stuff online at shopidc.com. Casey Hudson is here. She walks in the building next. She joins the show on the other side. It's the Pat and Aaron Show on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Tomorrow, Tampa Bay Rays baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner. Home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the San Francisco Giants. Coverage starts at 530 on the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeartRadio app. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick. Sorry, kid. Yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. Hey, Rays fans, did you know that every hit is a win with Suncoast? Because Suncoast Credit Union is donating $90 for every Rays hit this baseball season. That's right, $90 per hit. And every hit up to $10,000 each month will go towards two local nonprofits. The best part? You get to influence the percentage of donation that each organization will receive. So come on, Rays fans. Vote for the nonprofit of your choice at suncoastcreditunion.com slash Rays. Did a nice tax refund put you in the market for a new car? Maybe you didn't get a refund and you need to free up some extra cash. Have you checked the value of your used car lately? Aaron Jacobson here, and you can find this out easily from GiveMeTheVin.com. Sell your car for the most money now at GiveMeTheVin.com. They're five-star rated by the Better Business Bureau for a reason. They're proud of that, and they should be. Top money, quick transactions, that's GiveMeTheVin.com. A 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. GiveMeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. What's the Anna Jar and Levine difference? If you're the victim of a car crash, you will always speak to a lawyer. You'll always get the highest standard of care from our dedicated legal team and we'll always fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. That's the Anna Jar and Levine difference. Call our legal team right now for a free consultation. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Don't wait. Call 1-800-747-FREE. Main office Tampa. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Why should you hire the largest injury firm in the world for your injury case? Let me count the ways. Your case will be handled by your lawyer, a paralegal, and a case manager who's always in the office for you when your lawyer's in court. There's also a 24-hour hotline if you ever have a question or a problem. We've collected over $20 billion and won a lot. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. The iHeartMedia team is growing, and we're looking for experienced salespeople to join our team. If you're interested in working in a fast-paced environment and representing the biggest brands in media, go to iHeartMediaCareers.com and type Tampa. iHeartMedia is an equal opportunity employer, and you may be the next rock star seller for our team. Go to iHeartMediaCareers.com and type Tampa and apply today. What's keeping you from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make learning fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. And in 10 minutes a day, Babbel's bite-sized lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. That's not long. It's not hard. It's It's perfect. perfect. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Climbing ladders to clean your gutters stinks. 
For only $1 per foot, let the gutter experts at the Rhino clean your clog gutters before they cause damage to your home. That's right, just a buck a foot. You enjoy your game day while they do the dirty work. Go to therhino.com and schedule your cleaning today. When you enter a place of business, you're owed a legal duty that the place of business is safe for you to shop in. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you suffered an injury at a place of business, our duty is to protect you after that harm. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Alt 2K, a commercial-free look back to alternative from the 2000s. Just search Alt 2K and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. One, two, three. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, we are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Buccaneers fans around the world. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Casey Hudson has made it into the building. She joins us for the final half an hour today. I feel like I don't know where to go. Should we jump right into the kitchen? People are not going to be happy if we don't go cooking today. I know, I know. And the worst thing is to like get up at 4.30 in the morning and only get to talk to you guys for, what, seven minutes? I felt <laughs> so bad, you driving this distance. But uh, listen, we appreciate it. We love oh, you. No, at the good. Sports Case, Case with a K. And before we get into the best bets, do want to get into Casey's Kitchen in just a second here. But just talk about this team and what they've been doing. I mean, obviously Nikita Kucherov, but Stammer's going to have another 40-goal season. Point's been incredible. Um, it's it's they're hitting on all cylinders right now. I know, and I think I have to kind of clarify one thing because there's been a lot of conversation the past week of of certain people being like, "Oh, I've always believed in this team." Like, you can be a diehard fan and be honest. Like, yeah, you six didn't weeks believe in ago, this team. Six weeks ago, here with you guys, I was like, "Look, I don't know if we're making playoffs," and that was fine because Casey was going to take an early vacation. <laughs> um, <laughs> but am I glad that playoffs are clenched and whatnot? Of course. Like we've seen this team overcome so much, and it just—it's not only exciting for the team, but it's exciting for this community and and Tampa, especially hockey in Florida as a whole. With that said. Steve, Steven Samkos, like what a poetic season for him to think of all the noise in the beginning of the year. Yeah. Think about Vassy being out, thinking about where how the weight distribution on the leadership shoulders kind of shifts and stuff like that. Like where we were at the top of the season to now, it's just like you're happy for the guys and you're happy that cl- that, that they clinched playoffs. So uh, extremely happy for Stammer. Career season for Brandon Hagel. Last year, he was the takeaway king. Right now, he's at a career high of 70 points and still adding to the tally. Um, you know, even though Nick Paul's not the scorer that he was when he first got here. He's still like a gritty, important piece of the Playing really system. well lately. Playing so well. So these lines are coming together so well. And it's funny because last week when we chatted, we talked about the foundation coming into place. And with the little injuries on the road, Sorelli being down for a minute, Janot being down for a minute, we saw how when those lines have to change and the identity has to kind of be stretched a little bit, these guys are forced to play a different kind of hockey and it can stretch them. But they still are able to kind of overcome a bit. But I think we started to find our identity with... Duclair coming in, Dumba coming Mm -hmm. in, and those lines kind of solidifying themselves. I said last week or earlier this week, I think it was last week, though, I I remember saying, you know, I have so much more confidence in this team Mm -hmm. since the trade deadline than I ever imagined having at any point before the trade deadline. How much is your confidence? Not just, obviously, they've made the playoffs now, right? Right. But not just them getting in. How much more confidence uh, do you have in how far they can go versus pre-trade deadline. Yeah, before the trade deadline, I'll be honest, I was sitting at about a 4 out of 10 when it came to when it came down to it. Um trade deadline obviously was significant, brought in the fresh energy, it reciprocates throughout the entire room. And now I have to say like if we see the Bruins round 1, I think we can take them. I think really? we can yeah, I think we can overcome the Bruins because Who do you not want to face round 1? The maple leaves, and I think it's just really? because of the storyline. Like I love the storyline. I'm sick of Toronto. Yeah, okay, I'm you, so do sick hate of, to, you hate Toronto. I do. You do. I really do. And like, look, I love people from Toronto. I hate Toronto hockey. <laughs> Who will be the toughest test in the East for them? Forget about the West for now. When they get to the Cup, when they get to the Cup, Whoa. you know, I would have to say that would more so probably be, unfortunately, the Rangers. Um, the Rangers kind of had their number the first couple times in this season, and. You're talking about going up against a few players that, while I don't think they have much depth scoring, the Rangers, they do have a surprising consistency with the younger guys coming in and the goaltending. 
our team does struggle when the goaltender doesn't make it quite easy on them. The Red Wings being a perfect example. I mean, Alex Lyon is just now kind of hitting that sweet spot in his career, and he he was a problem. So them, the creative scoring, the depth scoring for us, that's where the test really comes in. Are they capable? Yes. But you have to be consistent enough to overtake somebody in an entire series. So that's where it gets complicated. We've got to get cooking or people are going to be unhappy <laughs> if, if you don't put, put, a, put a nice little uh, recipe together for them for their Hard Rock Sportsbook all app right, tonight. But, right. but, but Aaron... Did I, did I just catch a little bit of a prediction there? Ooh, I, uh, what'd you catch? What'd you catch? I, I, heard, I, I heard the phrase, when they make the oh, cup yeah, final. Oh, yeah, when they make the cup final. They're going, baby. Yeah. They have the pieces. I'll take. They have the pieces. I think we can take Boston. Look, if there's not three specific guys scoring for Boston, Boston's not scoring. Where they come up strong is like needling through their their defensive pairings, but we've got the right guys to do that, and their goaltending has been spotty. Swayman's great, and then Swayman's not. Um, Allmark's great, Allmark's not. They're beatable. Uh, the Panthers, you kind of know what their identity they is. They me. wear down their opponents, so they're exhausting. But, you know, a couple games ago, I can't remember specifically, our hit total was like one of the highest of the season, or I think we broke a franchise record. So we can contend with the physical team. We know what to expect with the Panthers. We can outplay them. And they did that the last time that they saw that team. You said with Boston, you know, there's three guys who can beat you. The Panthers scare me because there's so many guys that can beat you. Um, not really. I think that we have we have the proper pairings to contain the guys that are going to be a problem. And I think also having Duclair, who was part of the successful run with that team, kind of helps with the edge there. All right, we we got about two minutes. <laughs> we got about two minutes. Who Is we, it kitchen who, time? Who, 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 who are we taking? She wanted Sorelli last week. He wasn't on, and yeah, then he I ended up that. scoring. And by the way, Sorelli's been so hot. Twenty goals on the season. That's a career high for him. You guys, I threw a tantrum. I mean, <laughs> to not let me pick Sorelli when it's I want to pick Sorelli, <laughs> and then he comes up comes away with what like a three point night. I was like, why why are we doing this to me? Um, okay, tantrums aside, <laughs> <laughs> don't we love that? Um, it, it, I hope it does, this doesn't feel redundant for for Bolts fans, but obviously we know the guys that. that but the scoring through. is redundant. Like yeah. the but guys who step up for them is yeah. something that happens. I mean, on Steven Stamkos on the power play. That's just so hard not to pick. It's it still it's sits office. at over half a point, and he's either in the assist tally or scoring from his home office, you know? So um, if you see Stammer, go for that because we're playing a very physical team, the Senators. So we know we're going to see uh, probably a decent amount of special team action. And I think this team also wants to get get back into the sweet, consistent spot of scoring on the power play. Um, so Stammer, if it's over a half, take him. And then you've also got Braden Point. I mean, five points in three games versus this team. He's really good at keeping this defense on their heels. I mean, I think this is one of the defenses he likes to toy with the most. You so, know who's in town this week? Or who's in, in town tonight? Boca, playing for Ottawa. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just got brought up again. Wow. Got into a fight the other night. He doesn't get beat up a lot. He lost this fight. Wow. Yeah. He didn't he get beat up a lot. Think he gets a little Tanner Janelle action I, tonight? I, if you see Boko jump on the ice, it's because he's coming to fight. <laughs> That's a fact. That's what oh, he does. Boy. That's what he does. Um, uh, give what, me, you know what? I want to be crazy, and no one else do this. I'm just going to do this on my own. Who yeah. scores the first goal tonight? I'm a crazy guy. You're asking me who scores the first goal it's tonight. It's like the total feel. It's a total feel thing, but I'm a crazy guy. I'm trying to win some big money tonight. You know what's wild? Braden Point. Our, you're going with Braden Point? I'm yeah. thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm going small tonight. I'm going to do first goal score, and I'm going to do Steven Stamkos' power play point, and there it is. That's it. That's my night. That's it? That's your Two. night? Just a twofer, and it's going to pay out big because of the first goal score. I'll be honest. I hate the first goal score because I hate the opportunity to lose a bet that quickly in a game. I love it. Yeah, I'll to the next one. <laughs> That's like his that one it. feels like super edgy. So defense has actually been the ones kind of getting things going for this team uh, in the first period, more specifically. Like, Hedy. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a heady opening goal. All right, so if you go Hedman opening goal. Or Radish. Let's, no, let's stick with, with what you're thinking. I like <laughs> Hedman Let's open. go where you're going, but let me help you get there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just want you to say what I'm thinking. Uh, Hedman opening goal, Steven Samko's power play point. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. $10 on those two wins you. Take a guess. 1000 No, but. All right. I mean, probably like five hundred. Yeah, four hundred. Four hundred bucks. Yeah, four hundred. Opening goal is, is a four crazy hundo. Consider it in. It's done. There it Consider is. It I only in. put five on it. That's probably going to be a loss for Aaron Jacobson. But the good news is, when the Rays get back to action tomorrow night, every hit 
is going to be a win thanks to our friends at Suncoast Credit Union. Of course, they're bringing back their initiative designed to engage with Tampa Bay Rays fans and support nonprofit organizations throughout the state of Florida. They always do great work with local charity and they do great work for your bank account when you're uh, investing with Suncoast Credit Union as well. But we want you to vote for our two favorite charities this month, the two charities that are um, being benefited by Suncoast Credit Union this month. For me, I'd really love you to go to Suncoast dot com slash raise and vote for the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. They've been around for over 100 years helping out with animals around the area, whether it be strays, whether it be your pets. I told the story earlier when Heidi and I were significantly broker. Uh, we needed some help being able to get one of our dogs neutered, and we were able to get it done very inexpensively thanks to the work of the great people at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. So all you have to do, go to suncoast.com slash raise and for me, vote for the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. Both of these are great organizations, but I want you to vote for Zoo Tampa, and it is an amazing place. If you haven't been there, I, I recommend checking it out. But what they do is they have, they're dedicated to the conservation of endangered and threatened species. They got their Manatee Critical Care uh, Unit voted among the best zoos, best zoo exhibits in USA Today. It is one of the best places in the United States, and honestly, for what they do for critically injured and sick manatees, it's one of the top places in the U.S as well. So please go vote for Zoo Tampa, suncoast.com slash raise. By the way, did you know uh, Zoo Tampa has a television show? It's on um, National Geographic. It's called Secrets of the Zoo. Wow. And it's all about Zoo Tampa. There's all, I've seen it a couple times just run into it that? on TV. Very good stuff. So did you know if, that? Tanner Janelle. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Suncoast.com slash raise Vote for uh, my friends at, at the uh, at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. All right, when we return, we'll wrap this puppy up. It's time for a blender. We'll get uh, caught up on some of the things we may have missed during today's show with Casey Warner. That's coming up on the other side on the Pat and Aaron Show on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. WDAE. Traffic update. Early morning wreck on westbound I-4 near 301 and Hillsborough Avenue was blocking a couple lanes. It's now off on the right-hand shoulder, but traffic remains very slow. Westbound from before I-75. Also, we're seeing delays southbound 275 between Fletcher Avenue and Sly. Crash on westbound Fletcher just west of North Boulevard near Rome. We're seeing delays in Pinellas County on eastbound Olmerton near Carillon Parkway. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Silk. Feel plenty good. Shop wherever you find groceries. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness to help you feel plenty good. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you find groceries. Hey, don't let your money lose value just sitting in the bank. Welcome to Investing Made Simple with Noble Gold Investments. Precious metals is a real hassle-free investment. You'll even get a dedicated one-on-one -on -one American specialist to help you. And for a limited time, get a free quarter-ounce gold standard coin with every qualifying IRA. Just use the promo code GOLD. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. noblegoldinvestments.com. Best performance may not be indicative of future results. Investing in precious metals, including gold, involves risks. Consult with your tax attorney or financial professional before making an investment decision. Did you know the most successful teams always have a game? plan and they stick to it so it makes sense of course to have a successful retirement you've got to stick to it you've got to prepare and it's got to be a written strategy hi this is steve holland call us here at the holland group retirement wealth advisors for your written retirement plan 727-228-6449 that's 727-228-6449 Applied Innovation, a company that local business people have trusted for almost 40 years, can be your single source provider for all your business technology products and services. Applied Innovation's longevity can be attributed to a culture that motivates people to perform at extraordinary levels and be accountable to their customers. Applied Innovation, the region's number one choice for copiers, multifunction printers, large format printers, and printers from world-class manufacturers like Ricoh, Canon, and Kyocera. Applied Innovation has also become your number one choice for managed network services and other IT support, paperless office solutions, voice over IP telephone systems, document shredding, and other business solutions. You've heard over 100 customers on the radio talking about how Applied Innovation's knowledgeable professionals have given them peace of mind when it comes to their office technology. Call Applied Innovation today, 800-521-0983, or visit AppliedInnovation.com. 
Spring is in the air, and so is dust, pollen, and dander. Before you turn on your AC system, make sure to schedule an iron as heating and cooling seasonal tune-up to avoid costly breakdowns and clear away the allergens that have been building up since last year. Right now, when you schedule a spring seasonal tune-up, we'll also schedule your end-of-season fall tune-up for free. Book today at ironaair.com forward slash radio. For anything cooling and plumbing, you can trust Iernas to get it done and get it done right the first time. This report is sponsored by Cracker Barrel. It pays to be early because at Cracker Barrel, you can get early dinner deals weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. That includes their signature meatloaf, home-style chicken, and more, starting at just $8.99. So make tonight an early dinner night. We're looking at a lot of cloud today and possible rain, about an 80% chance of showers and thunder showers, more likely in the afternoon, but don't be surprised if you see them in the morning. And it's gonna be breezy at times as well. Our high today, right around 80 degrees. Overnight, partly cloudy, our low 62. Tomorrow, big switch, sunny, less humid as well. Our high, right around 77. Punch the preset for the ride home. On the drive with Pete coming up at three. Now back to the Pat and Aaron Show on WDAE, streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. The Blender. The Blender on the Pat and Aaron Show is brought to you by Mazda of Clearwater. Make sure you're uh, checking out Mazda of Clearwater when you're listening to the drive. You could drive to Mazda of Clearwater while listening to the drive with Tom Krasnicki. <laughs> They bring, they bring us the blender every day, and uh, then Casey Warner brings us news we haven't heard during the show. Uh, Casey Warner, what have we missed today, young man? Yeah, so look, yeah. you know I'm a big uniform guy. And I did not NFL, know that. Huge uniform guy. Love the aesthetics of NFL uniforms, combinations, all that stuff. Love talking about uniform. So let's talk real quick. NFL uniform policy. The league is to allow a third helmet option to all teams in 2025. Any ideas on a potential third Buccaneers helmet you'd like to see? Um, geez, off the top of my head, no. Like they've, if you go into one buck place, they've got a couple of the concept helmets yeah. from before they adopted their newest logo, or the one before this one, because this one's basically just a revamped one of the old one. But they've mm -hmm. got a couple of the concepts. I think there's some cool ones in there. Uh, but I think I think a lot of people, most people, would just like to keep seeing the creamsicles. No. I want, no. <laughs> <laughs> I I want like a black chrome helmet thinking. with Some like kind of with like low key skeleton details. Lean into the okay. piracy oh, for me. Wow, yeah, more piracy. I think you're more likely to see a pewter. No, Although, like sorry, with the pewter uniform, yeah. like if you know that pirate ship logo they have on the sleeve, like if they turn some kind of like matte helmet to match that Ooh. uniform, with, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I wish I was helmet. more into these things. Like there are fans that love. The jerseys me, and the uniforms. That's me, man. Love uniforms. I'm like, who's on the team and what are we betting on? <laughs> who's yeah. on? Yeah. We're whole... sending him to... <laughs> we got to send him somewhere. You ain't sending me anywhere. What are we betting on? We're Is betting it... on a good game. Yeah, well. We're betting on sportsmanship. What are the odds? Oh, sportsmanship. How much can I win on sportsmanship? Every... Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm going to go to the Hard Rock. Can I go... <laughs> I'm gonna go... Can I put $100 on sportsmanship, please? <laughs> They're like, get the F out. Yeah. Cash in big. All right, all right. Moving on. One more here. We got Jackson Holiday. Number one prospect in MLB. He made his debut for the Orioles last night. He went hitless. He was 0 for 4. Two strike. What a loser. That's right. Yeah. So, I mean, not such a good start, but he is the number one prospect, and the Orioles are the favorite in the AL East this year. So, how much is he going to impact the Orioles this year, and are they still the favorites thus far in the season? Nice think? comeback win for them yesterday against Boston as they were down pretty big, came back and won. Jackson Holiday and Pat, I know you're going to laugh at me because you've been telling me this for years. It's such a weird moment I'm at in my life right now. And Casey, I know you're the same age as me. Where we Not have, exactly, but go ahead. Where we have, <laughs> well, yeah, how old are you? Well, yeah, a little younger than me. We have, thank you. We have, um, we have professional athletes that when I was a kid were stars. Now their kids are becoming stars. And I look at Jackson Holiday, and he looks like a child. Like if I ran into Jackson Holiday on the street and looked at his baby face, I'd be like, oh, the kid's in high school. It's crazy to me. Yeah. I love that, Thank though. Thank you. I don't feel we have baby even faces older. Still, Do I still have a baby face? Yeah. Mm, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I'm getting gray. See you that? are getting slightly gray. Somebody uh, told me I looked like him. I was in my upper 20s the other day, and mm, I was the happiest person. Good for you. I know. I get carded I everywhere. It sucks. That's exactly why I said don't categorize us in the same age no, quite no. yet. <sighs> You'll get to an age where you where you never get carded anymore, and you're like, gee, thanks. Where do we, we, Casey and I, we went to the bare knuckle fights. 
and the lady right away asked him for his right license. Away. I was like, like I would say, oh, like, yeah. look, probably I was more clean shaven that night. Like I had just shaved, but I will say it's especially when I'm like shaving, like probably four out of every five times I'd get carded, like for real. Wait until you see I me after see my, my facelift. I'm going to be like a 20 year old. again. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like 27 or something like visually. Somebody's supposed to look at least 27 before you stop carding them. But yeah, I oh. never. I'm, Heidi still gets carded at the supermarket and stuff yeah. sometimes. Heidi. I'm like, nobody ever, ever cards me. I want it. I want it so bad. <laughs> I don't mind the pepper in my hair. The gray, I don't mind. It's uh-huh. old face. We're gonna card I... Aaron just to walk into the building. Yeah, please do. Right. <laughs> what is? I never understand the the like the the angst with taking out your card. Like people are always like, oh, oh god. Like, it's not angst. It's so easy. It's, it's, you just take it, it out. No. And go, Here you go. You're missing the point. It's like, oh, you think I'm old? I look oh. old. Mm-hmm. But didn't you say you you don't want to be carded? You said I. You said no, I, I always wanna, get carded. No, you know, I want. No, I never get carded. Is what I meant to say. Oh. I want to get carded. Oh. Yeah. No, sorry, I meant that wrong. I want to get carded. He's okay. missing it. Yeah, yeah I was I trying to explain it. to you. Like, it. no, no, My you're bad. gonna you're gonna get to a point where you do. So no. you vote. You're already there. I look. You old. get it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So yeah, and that's fine. That's fine. All right, all right. That's what we got on the blender today <laughs> from the penalty box back to y'all. That's the blender. It's brought to you by our friends at Mazda of Clearwater. Make sure you check them out next weekend. They're celebrating their one year anniversary of their new showroom. There's going to be something really cool coming along with that, including I'll be hanging out there for a little while next Saturday. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for more information. Huddy, make sure you follow Huddy. Casey Hudson hey. at uh, at the sports case on social media. Case with a K. Uh, we play in a little tennis tomorrow. We are. We are. Our competitiveness is about to come out. I uh, see. This is Jacobson see, and myself. This is bizarre because Casey and I always play golf together. Mm. But we're not competitive with each other in golf. Bingo. Why? Why is it that you'll be competitive in tennis but not golf? Like, granted, you're going head to head. head, to head. In That's it. In golf, you're just hanging and you're yeah. hoping each other. Everyone does well. And it's in always tennis. a large group of us too. So it's just like you know, there's always two out of the five of us that like aren't having the best day. Does our friendship like tomorrow, end tomorrow? I don't know. We'll see next we'll Thursday. See how it goes. <laughs> Stay tuned. If I walk in here and I greet Pat and Jake, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you She's know. calling me Jake next week. She hates you. <laughs> you should call Josh and get him to come videotape it. Battle brother. of the Sexes right here. I hey. do want a video. That would be actually pretty good, some video on that. I got two new rackets. Two new rackets. You're going to need both of them. <laughs> that's all the time we have for today. We will be back tomorrow. Until then, for Casey Hudson hanging out, for Aaron Jacobson, for Casey Warner in the penalty box, I'm Pat Donovan. Thank you to the men and women who serve our country and allow us to be morons for a living. Sorry, Mom. Not the rest of you. Apparently, someone texted they have to card you if you look 35 or younger. So I look older than my age. I look older than 35. I'm not even 35. Why would you guys do that to him? Uh... <laughs> Don't miss a minute of the Pat and Aaron Show. Head to the Pat and Aaron Show blog at 953WDAE.com and stream 953WDAE on the free iHeartRadio app or on your Alexa. Just say, Alexa, play 953WDAE on iHeartRadio. Stay, stay tuned. The Dan Patrick Show is next. Live, Live on 953WDAE and AM620. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Thursday, April 11th. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Thursday, April 11th, 813-219-1919. Some things in life you can just rely on, like the faithful friend who always comes when you call. Your fishing buddies and the tried and true performance of a new rude home AC system. So here's to reliability built into everything we do. Rely on Rude. Get reliable cooling and comfort installed by a certified Rude Pro Partner. Go to RudeACFlorida.com to schedule service with a Rude Pro Partner today. That's RudeACFlorida.com. Powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. 
ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the